What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy versus everybody podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. The champ is here. The champ is here. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy versus everybody podcast. Episode one, goddamn 18, man. We climbing up. Climbing the motherfucking numbers up, dog. But we got special guests in the building. We got goddamn old mother, goddamn brand ambassador, <laughs> rapper, actress. She, she do it all. Goddamn model. <laughs> got uh, Leah Envy in the building. What's good? What's up? Thank you for having me. Uh, you, did you feel old when I said mother? Like, I mean, so, <laughs> no, I ain't feel old. <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> but, I'm uh, a milf. That's cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we all need, we need those in life. <laughs> but um, we start with everything, you know what I'm saying, with a salute. You know, a lot of times we wait for people to pass away to give them their flowers and stuff, make that long, you know what I'm saying, Facebook caption and junk. Mm-hmm. But it can't be the normal. It can't be mom, dad, your kid. If you got a dude, it can't be Craig. It got to be somebody outside of those, you know what I'm saying, immediate circle. So you got anybody in mind? Um, that I want to get my flowers to? Yep, yep, yep. That's still here. That's still here? Not in that immediate circle of yours. It's always easy to be like, yeah, mom, deuce, and right. my son, um, I love him, I love Louis let me Jr. See. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shit, I mean, shit, I just want to get my flowers to everybody in the city that's doing their shit. For sure, for sure. For yeah. real, everybody like, everybody doing that lot of shit. Everybody that's doing their thing, yeah. um, like, people that's, you know, acting, they modeling, they, mm-hmm. they movie, whatever it is that you're doing, just keep that grind. I'm giving your flowers to you because, sure. you know, a lot of people can be lost. They don't have a lot of people motivating them, yeah. supporting them. So I'm here like, for the support. For sure. For sure. Me? For sure. And niggas be hurting off that, su- that lack of support, dog. You got people on Facebook, Instagram crying like, mm-hmm. I don't get love. You know? Yeah. <laughs> like, but that, that really means something though. Yeah. Like if somebody just, if you get one, I'm proud of you, that mm-hmm. goes a long way. Yeah, for like, sure. For real. I mean it do But then Then again it's like You kind of gotta expect it Especially from your immediate circle Cause a lot of times They gonna They ain't gonna really mess with it Or they gonna be like Alright that's what They supposed to be doing You feel mm-hmm. I me mean? So they ain't gonna mm-hmm. really Give you It's gonna be strangers That's gonna be showing you More love than people you know yeah, you know and that's that's what I mean. Like the strangers for support. Sure. Like I don't really yeah. care about the media circle. Like it's either you, it's either you gonna support me or you don't. If you don't, you gotta go. Like it's just for what sure. it is. Like, Hell yeah. Now, mm-hmm. uh, Mother's Day coming up. We just got finished saying. You know, what I'm saying you said you was a myth. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what I'm saying Mother's Day coming up. So, uh, how are you? Like as the as a mother, like how did your son? change you because uh little man five yeah uh, look, i mean he is amazing he changed me for the better honestly he taught me patience mm-hmm. so you know he taught me a lot of things about myself that i didn't even know sure. like i see a lot of myself in him and i just laugh like yeah, oh, yeah, i used yeah. to do this when i was a kid man, you know sure. hell yeah, hell <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. but no so so uh now you know with being a mom you know sometimes you don't really realize how your mom wasn't until you become a mom like damn like now I figure out why she was going crazy I'll man like, what you know what I'm saying so you'll be looking at some stuff like you don't understand why your mom was like that but now you'll be like alright I feel you no like I, I fully get it like I understand it like being a parent and like just adulthood period like yeah, yeah, yeah. it's crazy like it's a lot of stress it's a lot of things that come with it and you just gotta roll with the punches and yeah. I'm like dang like this is what she was going through she man. was telling me like all you gotta do is be good at school yeah, like, yeah for sure it's <laughs> odd and back then it was like no nigga what but it's just so easy when you get older like damn that's the only thing I had to do is give it a few man, A's and B's and shit. <laughs> that was it like that's it man I'm damn. telling you no for sure you gotta appreciate uh, 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 I appreciate all the mothers out there man it's a hard job especially if you ain't got the, the father around if you don't mind me asking father around he around okay bad 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 yeah bad, he bad. around yeah yeah was y'all like was y'all together or to any um, any time during mm-hmm. his life or mm-hmm. okay we right. was together yeah okay was, was it like was it heartbreak like dad Craig like why you leave or like or you 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 left Craig. <laughs> that's 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 a little personal. Oh, okay, see, so, yes, I mean, yes, I you know, like, but we we was together. No, we but y'all, was, but y'all good. Together. Y'all good on co-parenting. Yeah, yeah, that's we dope, we're real dope. good with co-parenting. Cause my oldest son, we co-parent, and people like be, be amazed how we like ain't no beef. Mm-hmm. Like, what's the point, nigga? She don't want me. I don't want her, nigga. That's all it is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like we you got know son. Like, like long she do good, I do good. Mm-hmm. Be cool. Long as the person you with is good. And the person I'm with good shit, we we should have no problem. Yeah. Now, if you with some whole ass nigga, then it's gonna be a problem. Like, all right, dog. This nigga Deontay acting crazy. Like, I can't have my son. Nah, with for it. real. I swear to <laughs> nah, real. it ain't it ain't nothing like that. Like, we just. Now, that's what's up. No, it's dope because you need to hear stories like that because there's a lot of times 
they be bashing each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. no, I ain't no need mm-hmm. for all that shit. For and then sure. if a the person is full of shit, shit the, the kids will figure out when they get older. Definitely will see that for <laughs> you know themselves, yes. Hell yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. See, yeah, it's a little personal. <laughs> <laughs> it was, you know, I don't, I don't be that open with my business now, but it was all good. <laughs> I feel you, I feel you, I feel you. Now, now as far as you, like, how, how you been? Like, how your, uh, your 2022 been? Like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's already May. It's, Goddamn, half the year almost over. Like, how, how your uh, year been so far? My my year has been very productive. Yeah. I, I can say that. Like, I've been doing a lot of background work, setting up stuff to for for the public to see. So, mm-hmm. you know, like I've been working a lot, and I know people are like, dang, like you don't even come out no more. Like, I'm busy. Yeah, like, you sure, will no. see me in a minute. Yeah, I'm busy yeah, yeah. though. Like, Busy's you know, I'm doing good. my shit. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> now, was there anything from last year you like? I I got leave this shit behind. Like, you know, what I'm saying I got to eat better. You know, niggas start eating grass. And shit, cause they got you know what I'm saying, get on their motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> they gotta get healthy and junk dog. Niggas wanna go ahead and be a better version of themselves. Like, was there anything you felt you need to leave behind? Like, I ain't even fucking with that no more. Like, I'm good. Like people, whatever. Yeah, people for sure. I cut yeah. a lot of people out. Like yeah. a lot of people because they were just they were they were hindering me. Mm-hmm. I can't deal with being stagnant. Like, and mm-hmm. if your energy is if I'm putting more into you and you're not putting that back, like that's yeah. a problem. Like so, that you're hindering me. So you gotta go. Like yeah. like I I don't play about that. Like I need good people around me. I need people that's gonna motivate me. Mm-hmm. People who driven just as much as I am. Yeah. Like, you know, I don't got time for that. Like no nah, how hard is that though? Like, cause if you grow up with some people like you know sometimes shit you start reaching different levels in them. They still stuck on this. And you know what I'm saying? Like, how hard is it to let those people go? Like, who you been rocking with from day one? It ain't hard. Oh, shit. Damn. It, it's not hard. Bye. Yeah, like, yeah, I, yeah. that's just what it's going to be. Because it's like, if you're not on this train, this train going to keep moving. For like, sure. and you sitting up here doing the same shit and I'm doing this. I can only, I can only talk to you so many mm-hmm. times. Yeah. I'm not about to keep beating a dead horse. For if sure, you, for sure. You don't want it. You yeah, don't want you don't it. Want like it's yeah. time to go. Hell yeah! Like you still love them, but then it's like, all right, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got missed out on the on the clubs and all mm-hmm. that shit. Like that's it. I got people like, damn, like, you don't talk to such such no more. Like I mean, that's still my dog. Like yeah. But I guess like life life just had us on two different journeys. That's and shit. it. Like and if you not if they not matching up with your with your journey, then they yeah. gotta. I can't stop my show because sure. you like I can't do that. Hell yeah. Mm-mm. Hey, that's what's up, yeah, man. Shout out to everybody we had to let go and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Right. I, hope you, I hope y'all still doing good out there, man. <laughs> hey, listen, I don't, I don't be doing that. You know, people yeah. be like, I wish you well, I wish you the best. I be like, yeah. just take care. Same <laughs> <laughs> okay. like, twenty four hours. And then, like you said, you got a son. Like shit started changing then too, for sure. Mm-hmm. Like I got three kids. Like I'm old out here a little bit. So like you know, what I'm saying you, I, when I'm not working or not doing like stuff that I want to do like, as far as my passion. I really my other time is with my family, so yeah. it'd be kind of hard to like be in the streets. Every once in a while, you know, the streets call, you come. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying. But for the most part, <laughs> you gotta know to tuck it in. Yeah. And go back home. Like last night, it's a Saturday night. I'm in the crib, just hoop shorts and watching basketball. I mean, uh, watching boxing, like. And that's the best feeling. Yeah, like, like damn, you. I don't even go out no more. Like, man, that shit. <laughs> that shit get old, it get played out. Like you, 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 you elevate, you grow. Like that shit ain't fun no more. Like you, you start to look up houses and credit and shit. Like <laughs> yeah, you know, hey, what I'm hey, like, credit shit is important. <laughs> for real. Yes. Like my credit so bad, they got was cry one day. Like damn. <laughs> Like for real, I was in the bed really hurt because you don't understand credit is more important than bread. It is. Man. They don't. They don't give a damn about how this much money you turn got. Me down. I try to get Comcast. These are like no. <laughs> got to put in your kid name. Yeah, like, like fuck, dog. <laughs> my dad had my name in everything. Man. Jet magazine. This nigga was shy stirring. Like I'm a seven. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was wild. That's but no, crazy. once I got older though, and me and my oldest son, mom, we was together. We trying to get apartments. No, we can't afford that shit. Cars can't afford that shit. And it's like that credit getting get hit. And mm-hmm. You look up, you twenty six, and you like, all right, I'm trying to make some moves, but your credit on, on yeah, e. like, yeah, yeah. You go ahead and just chill, try to pay this shit off, dog. Mm-hmm. This shit crazy, man. Goddamn credit, man. <laughs> hey, y'all got good credit, man. I, I salute y'all for okay. real. Okay, <laughs> because that shit is important, dog. For sure, it is. Now talk about you, like, as far as growing up, who was in the household? Like, how was it when you was a little a little Leah? Man, I mean, my parents was was together mm-hmm. majority of the time. It was a little back and forth, but yeah. I mean, I've definitely seen both of my parents. I mm-hmm. I got to experience that, you mm-hmm. know, short period of time, but I did get to experience that. Sure. Um, what like I grew up on the West Side, Joy Road, Greenfield area. You feel dangerous, me? Like dangerous. dangerous. <laughs> 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 gotta say dangerous over there. You feel me? Um, you know, like. 
siblings in the crib? Yeah, I have an older brother. Okay. I have an older brother. So, like, yeah. you know, then I got I got a sister. So, you know, we, we just a tight fit family. You feel mm -hmm. me? Um, I ain't really go outside a lot. Like, yeah. I was scared of, like, bees and shit. <laughs> I, ain't, like, I ain't, like, going outside too Damn. much, though. Like, See, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, like, then the block time, I grew up on, you know, like, it was, had all niggas on there. So, yeah, you know, yeah. I was the only girl pretty much. Yeah. So, my mom was like, uh, stay your ass in the house. For sure. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I got a little girl right now. She won. I'm already thinking about shit like that. Yes. Like, for nah. sure. Mm -hmm. Yo, ass thing right here. Under me, dog. Yeah. So, you say, um, you, bro. Sister and John, mm -hmm. mom and dad back and forth like, as far as relationship. Did, yeah. Do you after they was like completely done? Do you still have like a relationship with your pops? Oh yeah. That's yeah, what's up. yeah. I'm I'm always daddy's baby. Like yeah. I ain't, I don't know, I'll be mad. Like you got a girlfriend? Like no. Nah, like yeah, yeah, no. Nah, yeah. She ain't coming before me. Type Man, shit. For sure. For sure. <laughs> like, I don't yeah. play that. Man. Yeah. Now, now, like because a lot of times you know girls who grow up without their fathers, they start looking for that love through men. That's how you. You yeah. seem like a, a battered woman and jump like you know what I'm saying? Man, you yeah. for that replacement. For sure, for sure. But nah, like I still got a good relationship with both my parents. That's what's up. That's yeah. what's up. And like I said, a lot of times like it'd be better off parents being split up than together because that shit can get crazy. They just being together for the kids. You know mm -hmm. so, For yeah. sure. Now, uh, how would you in school like? Would you you know what I'm saying? A B. You know oh saying? yeah, listen, my mama didn't play that. She yeah. did not play that. She used to tear up our homework if our handwriting was trash. Oh, like she, she didn't play around like that. So I was always on the honor roll. Mm -hmm. Um I did I didn't do sports for real. Like I was mm -hmm. I was really into dance okay. at the time. Okay. Like I really love the art of dancing. So like I did ballet, jazz, modern, mm -hmm. hip hop. Like I was on a dance team, that's middle school, high school. Yeah. So like that's what I took serious at that time. And then mm -hmm. like I always been a lover of music. You mm -hmm. know, like me and my brother used to chop it up all the time. We used to bond over music. Yeah, like for sure. Wayne yeah. move mixtape, we in there we in the room together Drops, listening yeah. to it. You no, feel me? Sure. The draw everything. Yeah. Like hell we used to yeah. talk about that. Mm -hmm. And just that's that's where I got my love of music from. Just sharing that with my brother. Like we used to sit down and like write freestyles together as kids. Yeah. So like we used to just joke around with it. But mm -hmm. I never took it serious. I like, never took it older. serious. I was like, nah, I don't yeah. want to do that. Like yeah, you know, yeah, 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 I yeah. felt like at the time like it was a nigga lane. Like yeah, it really sure. wasn't. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. It really wasn't too many females out there. Like nah, you feel nah, me? Not so for real. Cause yeah. I remember like. When Nikki, even when she was popping, like she won every BT. Um, she did because yeah, it was like, like, like nobody else. Against? She was going against Trina, <laughs> uh, my Nick, my bad girl, Kaya. Yeah, Kaya, uh, yes. And it was uh, like, come on, now. Nah. What's the one girl who was on Love and Hip Hop who was like, uh, I'm gonna make her marry me? You know, oh, I know Rashida. You know. Yeah. yeah, like they just put all the people. I remember that video. Man. I remember that though. It was like no shade to her, but I, I didn't know who Rashida was. I was yeah. like, who is these people that's, that they was doing? Man, for it? sure. That's why now, like the girl space as far as like hip hop is way better. It's open lane. Yeah. Like <laughs> it was like Nikki and Nikki. That was it. Like for that's sure. It, for you had, like sure. I'm trying to think. Like, I can't even think of nobody like when she first started who was really like rapping for real. I mean, her only competition at the time I feel like was like. Remy Ma. Oh yeah, Remy Ma. Um, yeah, yeah. But she, else? I think Remy Ma didn't get the love that she deserved just because. Yeah, she. Did. She wasn't like girly girly at the time. Yeah, like she would. She was she, more hardcore. Yeah, she ran with Fat Joe. You yeah. know, what I'm saying Terror Squad. She thugging out and shit. Yeah. Nikki, you know, she kind of got that little Kim in her and shit. So. Yeah, for sure. For little sure. Kim used to be bad too. Damn. That would do. It. I mean, she did. Like, <laughs> for, I had the poster on my wall. Like, you know what I'm saying? But it's like I don't know with the, with that surgery. Like some girls don't. They don't need it. She did. She, she definitely didn't need nothing. Nah, she like, didn't. She could deny that she didn't have it. Come on now. That's like Michael Jackson denying him. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Do this shit. Rest in peace, Michael mm -hmm. Jackson. But it's like, come on. You didn't need to do that, uh, uh, little Kim. Yeah. I mean, I, I agree. Like, she, she, she was, was beautiful. She was beautiful before that. But, I mean, people do it for their own reasons. You feel yeah, me? Like, yeah. we don't know what her headspace was at the time that's, or that's, whatever. That's true. That's true. But, yeah. I mean, I agree. Like, she was she was beautiful before that. Let's be real. Have you ever seen somebody do, like, um, what's that shit? You mean Botox in your face? Like, have you ever seen somebody do work and look better than what they did before? I mean, minus the ass and stuff like that. Like, I mean, <laughs> it depends though, cause like I I seen a few faces that was like <laughs> shit. <laughs> I, I seen a few faces that was like, yeah, you did that, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then when you did it, you came back. All right, yeah, you good now. Sure. You <laughs> cause like me and my brother, we, I remember we used to be uh, staying in Texas, went to the gym, and we saw like this white lady had some shit. Like the whole time she was struggling to lift weights, but it's like she was still smiling. The whole time, so I was like, "What the fuck is up with your face?" Wait, like, you ain't relax your face muscles, yeah, my nigga. The muscles is tight, like she's a bit stronger. That's different. Yeah, I, I feel it. Nah, yeah. that's funny mm -hmm. as hell. Now you said you and your brother bonded over music. Like, I got a question as far as like who was the people you was liking as far as rappers coming up 
or singers just based off your mom or your dad like who they was playing in the crib oh what oh my god the Isley Brothers the Commodores mm-hmm. like Sade I and he listen he, 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 he hates Sade he what hate oh you gotta go yeah. I'm so sorry yeah. like, no, I'm just like, <laughs> leave your crib <laughs> I'm so sorry but um nah like every su- every Sunday like mm-hmm. the minute we heard the sweetest taboo we know yeah. it's time to get up and clean up the house yeah, we, we just knew it was time either, like, yeah, either you gotta clean up or she cooking yes one or two that, that was it we yeah. the dad anita baker like For my sure. mama played the the listen yeah, yeah I, I i messed her head up one time we was in the car and we was the song um rick james came on uh mary jane mm-hmm. we was in the car and she turned the channel and i was still singing the song yeah. i knew it word for word she was like hold on yeah, for like sure. do you even know he rapping about i'm like yeah. no i yeah. don't know what he's singing about Man. for real you know but i did i had to play it off though yeah yeah, yeah. Like, I, I don't know what the I'm hell like, mary know, jane <laughs> His girlfriend? I'm like, that's exactly what I said. I'm like, his girlfriend, yeah. right? She like, uh, yeah. no. Oh, okay. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Funny as hell. God damn. What about mm. Pops? What he was playing? Like, oh that my God. With? Pops played Outcast, Spice yeah. One. Like, listen, yeah. Yeah. okay. Goddamn super throwback. Listen, oh, listen, welcome to the ghetto is the shit. Yeah. That hell yeah. Hell yeah. He always played, he played, um, what cannabis a lot. Oh yeah. my goodness. Like, he played all the, the real hip hop, like, yeah. for real. Like, for LL, sure. like, I listened to all that growing up, so yeah. I was I was hip with the shit. Yeah, you yeah. feel me? So I had that one. I remember. I never forget that. What's that one song? I'm gonna I'm love you better. Nigga came in that mm-hmm. bitch and had a nigga with the cut uh, with the uh, short sleeve sweater. <laughs> 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 yeah, like, just like how the fuck this nigga get a sweater? With a short <laughs> nigga yes. had been sweating and cool at the same time. I'm like that nigga look cool. He was a cool ass nigga. Dog. Yes. I wonder how that nigga look with a beard though. That nigga, them niggas never grew like um, Def Jam niggas never had like facial hair. And they said like. <laughs> It was a, I remember it was a conspiracy that the niggas who didn't have facial hair on Dev Jam was like gay or like what for real like you, y'all y'all, y'all can't tell me y'all hear that shit no all right you gotta think about it, it was talking about like uh like Hov, LL Cool J Russell Simmons um his brother uh, uh what's the other Simmons um nigga from Run and shit oh I know he's talking about I can't think all, his name right it's now it's like all the niggas they had like didn't have facial hair like the shit they said that Quincy Jones was messing around <laughs> with um with Will Smith how he got his show. Like, you know what I'm saying? This, this ain't facts. This is what I just heard. Like, I'm surprised y'all hear that shit. I'm Bennett and I ain't in it. I ain't got nothing to do with it. They say there was some shit going on on, on Def Jam, man. Why they refuse to let nigga grow hair, facial hair, dog. Look on YouTube when we get off this bitch, dog. <laughs> <laughs> For real. I ain't never heard that. I'm going to look now, that up myself. Now, I know growing up you heard that um that rumor when they said Bawa got raped by his uh, limo driver or bodyguards or something. No. Oh shit! No. Yeah, this I, it. it was that. You had little Kim that said she had to get uh, her stomach pumped from like sucking so many. Y'all hear about that one? Like nigga, where y'all been? Like dog, these are all rumors in school that we used to talk about before the phone. Yes, dog. They said that. I'm quite sure one of your followers know about the little Kim rumor <laughs> that she gave head hey, to so listen. many niggas that they had to pump her stomach for semen. If if y'all heard that, just just put like a, 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 a I don't know, put a thumbs, thumbs up, a or thumbs up yeah. emoji or something. No, like let the, me and know. The, and the bylaw rumor, I was like in probably like seventh grade, sixth grade. They say that the, either the bike guards or a limo driver had raped him and they cut his hair. So we all looked for bylaw see if he had a haircut and shit, dog. Like damn, this nigga got raped. You know how rumors is in school. Oh Jesus. One I mean, I heard I heard about the B2K shit. No, I yeah, heard that about probably, that. Yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah that's, everybody kept talking about uh, Sierra was like a he, she. I a heard about that, and I was yeah. mad because I was like, don't come for her. You feel yeah, me? Like, they, they compared me to her a lot growing up because <laughs> I used to dance and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I ain't like that. I was a slim girl, you know, who knows for how to sure. get roll the shit. I'm like, hold yeah. on, don't do that. Like, wait a minute, and I was skinny as hell, so I'm yeah. like, wait a minute. Yeah, that, I'm telling you, these was like the rumors pre phone mm-hmm. that niggas just talking about in school. Like, nah, for real. I'm surprised you hear about that little Kim shit, dog. He's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm over here looking crazy as hell. Say all these. Hey, listen, this is not facts. This is stuff that I heard when I was a little kid. So if y'all are gonna ever be on my show, I was just hearing this shit. Yeah, like, just hearing this shit. Yeah, like it was it's no it's no it's nothing stamped. I just heard this shit, dog. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Bob and the niggas, dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I say I'm Benny, I ain't in it. I ain't yeah. got time. Hey buddy, he was on Shaw's show talking about I was this bitch getting raped. <laughs> <laughs> nigga cut my braids off and shit, dog. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's, I guess I'm the only nigga heard that shit then. Yeah, Fuck it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to the interview. <laughs> now, um, so what you got your own ear for music, though? What would you like, you and your brother, like, y'all, you mentioned uh, Wayne and shit. Like, yeah. That was we, like one of my favorite rappers growing up. Like, who was the people you was rocking with once you got your own ear for music? Um, 
Still Wayne, mm -hmm. J. Cole, Drake. Like I I was such a Wayne fan that I followed everything that he did. Up, like when yeah. it come even when he had young money, like I just, I fucked with everybody on young money. Like yeah. so when he introduced Nikki, I was like, Oh, like you know, yeah, I yeah, was yeah. like, I fuck with her. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I had to bang like her. I ain't just <laughs> listen, don't ever yeah. pull these pictures up, but I had to blind bang Bob. Damn. Listen, okay, with the black hair I I was I took it there. Yeah, <laughs> I took it sure. there for sure. Yeah, but yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So um Give me your first favorite rapper, like, like the real first favorite rapper, not the one that you, you know, that's cool. The my first favorite rapper, or his first favorite artist. It ain't gotta be rap, cause I know you probably tapped in with the singing. Man, I mean, I'm still gonna say Wayne, cause that's yeah. all I like. When I tell you, like, me and my brother would bond over that shit so much, like, yeah. and he was he was old enough to have CDs and stuff. Like, I was yeah. still, you know, a little baby. We yeah. six, it's a six year difference with us. So, yeah, yeah, for sure. like, I was just going his room and just be up under him and just mm -hmm. listen to the shit that he listened to, and mm -hmm. I just started liking it more. So, yeah. like. When I got my little MP3 player, I just put, <laughs> I put everything, yeah. right, that shit sounds so yeah, crazy, yeah, yeah. bro, <laughs> like, that shit sounds like, so old, and you got <laughs> storage in that motherfucker, yes. damn, man, like, okay, I can't, I can't say, when I did start really, like, elevating into music and getting my own shit, like, you remember Lime Wire, and yeah, you're like, yeah, you sure, know, yeah, download yeah. your shit, CDs. what, yeah. listen, Wiz Khalifa, yeah, I can't, yeah. I can't, oh, yeah, 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 man, yeah. that Cushion nigga had juice. a run, no, Cushion yeah. Orange yeah. Juice, yeah. That, nigga had, that nigga had a run for sure, like, Oof. my little brother was put me on, he put me on Wiz, and he had put me on Drake back when Drake was, uh, he did a song with Trey Songs like before Young Money. Yes. It's called Something Girl, something, whatever. But I'm like, who is this nigga from the TV show? I knew about it from the TV show. Yeah, the grassy. I'm like, damn, this nigga rap. Then he yeah. put out, um, what, what was that mistape? Something October or. Was, October's on. Yeah, yeah. We mm -hmm. had a little, like, little Pico. Yeah. I remember Pico's. Yeah. yeah and it was like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, them bitches might come back out, no, though. I ain't hey, gonna lie. For sure. But that nigga, uh, yeah, I'm like, this, these niggas straight, though. That was like early on. But Wiz, Big Sean, all them niggas, was, they was hard. Yes, for yeah. sure. Shout I out to Wiz, though. That nigga's talking about his nigga be uh, working out in them little drawers and shit, though. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, he, 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 he's. He, Leave him alone, yeah, okay? Yeah, no, we he, like it. The girls yeah, like yeah, it. We yeah, know yeah, what we're yeah. <laughs> We ain't gonna watch it, but shit. Well, some of some, some of them niggas might watch it. <laughs> I ain't gonna talk about that, though. I get banned from this bitch, though. <laughs> Especially the way things going right now, man. Yeah. Like, we're it, different now. Yeah, you can't talk about nothing. No. Like, my it's wife. real sensitive. She a pre-K teacher. I mean, he asked y'all this, like, and she, it was a book that uh, one of her teacher friends, if I'm not mistaken, had, had uh, shared with her. It was, like, three, like, like, um, 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 um what's those? Trainee, trainees and the, 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 the yeah mm -hmm. and it's like it's like a book that they are presenting to kids so like my wife was like like this don't make no sense like you shouldn't be like for sex shouldn't be taught to pre-k it it's should like, not be taught to children period yeah straight couples a gay couple kids don't like, care about yeah. that but they want to put that shit I don't know. I just don't agree with it. And I don't agree with it yeah. either. Like, like people was on there, like basically saying, like, yeah, but we should teach kids this because there's a lot of kids that's like that and all that stuff. I'm like, listen, they don't need to know nothing about nothing. They don't really need. <laughs> they don't need to know no. about it. Honestly, like I, in my opinion, I feel like this, and I'm not throwing shade to nobody, but I feel like a lot of things that people do are influenced. Yeah, for like sure. you've seen it before. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that make you curious about trying it. Mm -hmm. So it's like if you are present, if, if a child see this so much, yeah. And their parents are telling them no. They're going to be. Well, they going to want to know why yeah, I can't sure. do it. Yeah, so it's yeah, like, yeah. but if you don't present it to them, yeah, then, then they don't know yeah, about they it. They like, their own. Yeah, all that stuff to each their own. Like you. now, you can you can you can teach your kids enough things to mm. be you know where they're aware of things, yeah, but yeah, yeah. you ain't got to go full detail. And I for feel sure. like pre K, that's a yeah. little too early. Yeah, that's to, a little to, too to early. To learn like, anything about anything. Yes, yeah, like yeah. the most you should be teaching them is nobody hey, should touch your private. No, that's it. You feel me? Like that's all they need to know like fact. somebody do this you yeah. go tell like yeah. that's all they need to know I, at that point yep, i told my son that he filed like look anybody touch you i don't care if it's family yeah whatever dog you you tell me yeah and we gonna have a matter of fact you run away you get off yeah, yeah, for sure because that's the one time yeah i go to prison <laughs> Yeah, for sure, <laughs> I'm, like, I'm yeah. going to jail, jail. Yeah. Put me under that bitch. Yeah, I'm not sure. playing. Yeah, like, that's, no, you, that's 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 true. What you said though, that's the only thing they should be teaching kids is like for people not to touch them, in, you yeah. know, what I'm saying appropriately, and they, you know, and what they, they should know the difference because you know, like at home you got one bathroom, in school you got to know the difference. You can't go in the girls' bathroom, yeah, you can't go in the boys' sure. bathroom. That's yep. that, that's the most they should know. Exactly. Hell I feel yeah. like it's an age group. It's an age group for everything you're supposed to teach your child. Yeah, yeah. Like my son is so innocent. Like. I don't play that like he's still a child. For sure, yeah, he, yeah. Uh, uh. And I keep him, keep him like that as long as you can, cause like yes. they be trying to grow these kids up quick as hell. Like, man, bro. no. In school, I just remember like 
You know what I'm saying? They talk to you about health and like the, the body and stuff. And he was like, what, eighth and ninth grade or something? Mm-hmm. And that's when everybody be in that mother looking like, what the hell? Like, he talking about. <laughs> yeah, like, not kids know about that shit at seven. I'm like, hold Man, on. Like, what? The stuff that these kids is doing, I was dreaming. Like, at that age, like, damn, I can't wait to do that. Like, <laughs> they, these they doing already exposed to it. Like, oh, Jesus, I know. Man, like I said, my son, 15. So he gets to that age and. As far as he got a little girlfriend and stuff, so I'm like, I gotta talk to him. Like, listen, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm like, listen, that stuff could wait. Yeah. All that stuff could wait. It's cool. Y'all hold hands, nigga, hug, get a yeah, little kiss but... or something. But don't be out here like, like going full mm-hmm. <laughs> nigga throttle. Like, <laughs> yes, for <laughs> sure, down. for sure. And I feel like, I mean, now that you 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 grew up in it, you understood it. You went through that, so now yeah. you could be a better role model for to sure. your kids, yep. and then you understand what's going on in the world. You're like, oh hell no, I gotta Man. get in front of this real quick. What, like, what? Cause I, I told him, I'm like, listen, bro, it's, it's this thing called um. Damn, I ain't forgot the thing I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was what, what are STDs that you live with forever. Herpes, herpes like, yeah. It's a thing called herpes, bro. <laughs> and nigga, you yeah, just just make sure you you chilling. Though. Yeah, like, you chill, chill. Ch- chill as long as you can. But once that time happen, man, protect, be, be protected. Be safe as possible. Yeah, like, be protected. Mm-hmm. They don't want that herpes No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nah. Oh, hey, sh- hey, if y'all got it, I'm sorry, but I'm saying like I'm trying to prevent my kids from having. It. <laughs> okay, I'm preventing all costs. No, pregnancies, play. all that stuff. Like, and then like I said, these girls and boys, they they mess around doing a lot of stuff. And you just want to make sure you don't get yourself caught up in a fucked up situation. Yes, because so. one fuck up could be your whole life. Hell yeah, for That's sure. That's it. I had to the... get off that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. Now, now with, um, <laughs> with you, as far as like we talking about music and stuff, what's an album or, uh, or a song that take you back to a time every every time you hear it? Like you could think of this time clear as day. Man, still, like never being by Wiz. Like yeah. I was I was such a Wiz fan. Like I still play that song to this day. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. I I remember like being in my room like downloading it and just playing <laughs> it back to back like over and over again and just yeah. th- thinking the thoughts like I can't wait to get my first car and play this song. No, and sure. it just happened like when I literally brought my first car that was Banging the first it. song I played and it's like it was a subconscious thing. Like yeah. I didn't think about it. Like I was just went straight to yeah. it. Like I got to hear What it. was that first car? My very first car. <laughs> it, might be some, it might be some cold watch, some baller. No, 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 it wasn't. It wasn't. My very, my very first car was a Chevy Cobalt. You know, yeah. I was, I was excited oh, about. Cool. You know, I paid for that's myself. Cool. Like, yeah. okay, you know? way, way better than my first car. Shit. <laughs> hey, Chevy Corsica. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was like what? I bought that shit two thousand something. Man, it was like a ninety four, ninety five car. Oh, okay. AM, FM, no CD player, no oh, yeah, cassette, see, nothing. I, my hat, mine's a little new. I don't remember the year. I, I want to say it was probably like. Like a 2010 so you maybe you know had the power windows and yeah, you fucking do exactly. the wrong you feel me exactly. had the little cd player yep. in there it was ready you to ball. go you balling you feel me i wish i wish my first car like i'm gonna get off me real quick i just want to tell this one story mm-hmm. this car was so bad that when it rained like for some reason like it wasn't no the ceiling or whatever it wasn't like blocking rain from coming in my car mm-hmm. so as soon as you come in boy you step in puddles and stuff oh. so i gotta get all the towels and soak that junk up mm-hmm. like it was bad so then you know when water starts sitting it's just started thing. resting yeah. into, yeah. So I'm in that bitch and people come in like, damn, you must be like, no, it's my car. <laughs> oh, yeah, so that was a family car. Yeah. Nobody can come in that dog. <laughs> All me. Mm-hmm. Dude, that's it. Yeah, but that's it. So shout out to you for your your, your new car. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, before we get to the music and how you started, last question I want to ask is, what's something as a young that you wanted to be that you never told nobody? A lawyer. A lawyer? Mm-hmm. Was there anything that inspired you or you just like, you watch I mean, Law and Order or what? Like, my, my, my grandmother, because she was a court reporter, mm. uh, she did that for damn near 30 plus years, sure. retired from it, God mm-hmm. rest her soul, but she was a court reporter and mm-hmm. I was just infatuated with that. Like, mm-hmm. I loved it. Like, just seeing her, her briefcase and shit, yeah, I was yeah, like, you yeah, know, I'm like, ooh, yeah, yeah, look at all the parties. Yeah. So I was like, ooh, I, you know, when I get grown, I'm going to be a lawyer. Sure. Then, like, me and my brother was like, Argue a lot. Yeah, 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 <laughs> my mom yeah. used to be like, "Ooh, you can debate like." Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Get into this. Yeah, so I, I I wanted to be a lawyer growing mm. up as a child. Like I thought it was sweet. So mm. you know, and I was inspired by her, just watching her mm. do her thing, and like she used to have her little typewriter and stuff, and she would have to listen to her cases and like type up everything. And I used to ask her like a lot of questions, and she yeah. used to just tell me a lot of things like you know. And I used to read some of the transcripts. I'm like, wow, like yeah. what uh what uh made you like. 
kind of get away from that or like or like you know what I'm saying was it like you gotta do too much damn schooling or, yeah, yeah that, you gotta be in school that, forever that, that shit, shit was <laughs> and then like as growing up like you know you that was your one thing but yeah, as yeah, you yeah. start to grow up and then you start you, yeah lose you, interest yeah and you lose interest and you start liking other shit and I, I really gravitated to dance mm -hmm. and then modeling and I was just like this is me like mm -hmm. I felt more myself doing, doing that For like sure. I felt as transparent as possible being that and like mm -hmm. I've always been in a spotlight type of person like I'm yeah. not scared of a crowd For sure. nothing yeah. like it was time to dance perform time, yeah. anything like I was good it. with the solos like I was straight with it yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> now um first time I got I uh I, I, I realized who you were you was on um Meet the Connect mm -hmm. I sent you a DM you ain't look at it um <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, she seen dope girl on the show and shit my man so then when your manager hit me like yeah I wanna get my artist on I'm like who I'm like, damn, I, I'm like, she look familiar. Mm -hmm. Check the message, like, oh, I sent her a message before, like, about coming on the show <laughs> and shit. Know, I'm sorry. It's all good, it's all good. Hey, it'd be some creeps on, on the end. Yeah, it'd it be on the other side. I don't really check over there. I ain't gonna yeah, lie. For sure, for sure. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and then I had seen you in, um, you was in a movie, uh, Blacklist. Uh, Black no, Black Lives. Lives. Mm -hmm. I said Blacklist. That's, that's what other shit. Black <laughs> Lives. Lives. Mm -hmm. And, uh, cause my homegirl was in there, Jay Judo. Okay, yeah, Jay. Uh, that's my dog. Real Will mm -hmm. was in there and stuff. And, matter of fact, uh, what's the dude named Michael? Yeah. The one you was playing dirty and stuff. He was, uh, <laughs> 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 he supposed to come on the show too soon, so okay. it's gonna be dope. So, um, like, how did that role come about? How the whole acting, you know, what I'm saying thing came about? Like, was that something that you was it like a first love, or is just something that came as you got older? It's just something that came as I got older, but it's like I wasn't scared to do it. Mm -hmm. Like, I always knew I could act, but I just never like pursued it for real, and I didn't mm -hmm. even know how to go about it. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't sure. know how to go about it. Like, everything that I've been doing so far has really been self taught. I don't really have nobody to tell me like do this, go this way about it. Like, I just learn on my own, sure. and I make the connections and network with people on my own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, one person, now I okay, now I can really give flowers to this person. Okay, Crystal the Dow. Okay. She reached out to me about the bad girls um, role. It was okay. a small role, but that's how I got started with yeah. it. You feel is me? Bad girls? Yeah, bad girls. Oh, is that my dog, Sev, in there? Sev, Braze? I believe so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I believe part two. Part two, part two. Yeah, 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 I was yeah. in the first one. I was okay. the mistress. Okay. She reached out to me, and she was like, yeah, Leah, well, yeah, like, you know. <laughs> yeah, that was me. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> I knew I knew you. That was me. <laughs> For sure. Like, a lot of people always do that. They're like, oh, that was you. <laughs> like, yeah, like, damn, you look good. <laughs> yeah, that was me. Number. That was me. I agree. <laughs> so like she had reached out to me and she was like, you know, um, we doing this movie and I feel like you would be a good part for it. You mm -hmm. know, just let me know. And I'm like, yeah, I'm open to it. Yeah. So she sent me the people information. That's how I met with Will and June and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. So like I was on set and it just. It, it opened up the doors for me. So mm. for Black Lives, that came about because they were on the set of the movie that day, and I didn't yeah. even know who they was. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like shout out to shout out to um to Legend and KC. You know, mm. um they had reached back out to me like last year and was mm. like, you know, uh, we about to put together these movies and stuff, and we got a role for you, but yeah. you still got to audition. And I'm like, okay, cool, no sure. problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They sent it to me. I read it. I was like. Damn, like I fuck with this. Mm -hmm. I, I can do this. Yeah, I was mad at you in that one. I ain't go. <laughs> a lot of people was. They were like, dang, you ain't uh, no good, dog. The premiere, they was like, bitch, I was ready to beat your ass. Now. Hey, remember, you was my friend. <laughs> man, for sure. That's when you know you're doing a good job when niggas don't like you. Like, yeah. Oh, shit, man, you was a punk ass. Man. <laughs> but no, if, if it ever been a situation like that, because for those who don't know, like, she had a kid, but then the dude that she was with, well, she wasn't with, she felt like. He, he he already thought he was a dad, so yeah. you know what I'm saying? Hey, nigga, you yeah. dad, and you a good dude. Yeah. But then the real dude was, you know what I'm saying? Like, have you ever seen, I know you ain't been in a situation like that, but have you mm -hmm. ever seen a situation like that where? I have. Damn. I've been around that, so it was like, it was easy for me to portray that character. Yeah. And then, you know, I got a little spicy side to me, a little hood way, so it, sure, it, ain't, sure. it ain't hard for me to yeah, be like, nigga, yeah. fuck you, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, it ain't hard for that. Yeah, yeah. So, I, when I read the script and I seen it before in, in real life, I'm yeah. like, I, I can I can portray this character. Sure, it don't sure. it don't resonate with me. Yeah. I know my child father is all day. Look just like his ass. Yeah. Don't play that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but not gonna, they're like this is still your son. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> like, no, it's not. Oh man, yeah. That, man. that shit was crazy. That gotta be hard. Like I mean, it'll be good to find out at an early age. But 
Like if if a if a if a if a, if a chick or a female know like this ain't the dad like that's kind of, that's kind of fucked that's, up. That is fucked up for yeah. sure. And then cause you ain't got this bond with them. Even if it's, it's four, five, six, whatever, you ain't built the bond. Mm -hmm. like, you know what I'm saying? And that person only know you as yeah. dad. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like that's bold as hell. And yeah. as a mother, like you know, like yeah, and sure. even if you don't know, like it's a possibility. Yeah. That they, like yeah. come on, now nah, like time. that shit bold <laughs> as hell. Like nah, you know, that wasting shit. that man time like that. Then that's gonna scar him for even wanting to move on to even sure. trying to start a family like Hell he gonna yeah. look at his next bitch like the fuck like, yeah, like i gotta yeah. get yeah, tested yeah, like, yeah, test everything yes <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's wild because yeah that's, that's a that situation where you might die too like, <laughs> <laughs> like oh shit i'm killing you yes i spent all my money on little, little yes. fake junior he's a junior no more like you gotta change his name nah, nah for real mm -hmm. yeah but no that was uh say like, how, how did that movie change like because you said you had a smaller role in the in the previous movie you had mm -hmm. a big role in this one. Like, mm -hmm. did that change, like, how you was getting, like, people want to, you know what I'm saying, have you come on or audition for this or whatever, like? It did. It did. Like, I, I just wrapped up a, a two new two new projects. They were smaller roles, but mm -hmm. I agreed to do these because I have other things that's coming out with them for that sure. has a larger role. So I'm yeah. like, you know, you got to put your foot in the door because, yeah. you know, a lot of people just know me as a model. I've for been sure. modeling for a long time. Yeah, and yeah, then, yeah. like, people are getting to know me as, a, as an artist. So they're like, sure. yeah, like, I fuck with her music. So, you know, mm -hmm. okay, let's see what this acting do. Yeah, but yeah. my my name isn't stamped as an actress yeah, a lot yeah. of people don't know me as an actress so mm -hmm. i gotta work my way up and yeah. i don't mind that oh, yeah, you feel yeah, me yeah, like yeah. you gotta you gotta do that you gotta bump a few shoulders to shake a few hands before sure. you go into a room and be like i don't gotta introduce myself no more yeah you know who i am you know? yeah it is yeah. what it is yeah but yeah like i say when you put the work in it's, as long as you re you willing to put the work in shit, everything will come you know saying with exactly. due time exactly hell yeah so uh okay you've been in the acting world for a little bit if you could sub in for any actress in the in one in one in a movie who would it be and why? Like, your favorite movie, it could be whatever, but you want to sub in for a person, like, you know what I'm saying? For example, you want to sub in for goddamn Jay Picky and set it off and shit, like... I ain't gonna lie. I was gonna no. say that. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Like, yeah. and it's so crazy because I wouldn't even sub in for her for her role, though. Yeah. I would sub in for T.T. Oh, I, didn't like, I was. I, like I didn't like. I didn't like it, but it's yeah. like it's like I. Could. I need that money. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like it's like as far as the, the you know the features and shit like yeah, we kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. favor each other. So yeah. like it wouldn't be hard for me to sub in for her. But yeah. I mean. Damn. An actress that I would pick, mm -hmm. Angela Bassett. Like she is just a phenomenal actress. Like yeah, what movie though? Is you is you get, you eating the pie? I mean, uh, what's that? The I cake? ain't gonna the lie. Cake? I eat the cake out of me, but I I kill that limo scene. Like yeah, I, woo, sure. oh, I be yeah. going to town. Like nigga, yeah. fuck that. I'm giving him two boots to the face. Oh, man. <laughs> hell yeah, Yo, yeah, funny for sure. Mm -hmm. right, and, and now stay on that first. Your, this is your first major Hollywood movie. Who gonna be your lead man? <sighs> Uh, y'all married and uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, y'all got kids. Like, who who is the dude? I don't know. <laughs> I do not know. Um, you know, you know, Michael B. I don't like, know though. Like, like, hey, shit. <laughs> <laughs> He yeah, I yeah, yeah, we can just stop yeah. right there. Okay, all ladies like Michael B. Jordan, though. <laughs> For sure, we can stop at Michael B. He's a, he's a nice looking man, and he's yeah. he he's a phenomenal actor as well. For so sure. like, I would. Sure. You know what? Nope. Nope, because I'm doing my man wrong. I'm doing him so wrong. Yeah, Dance some injuries, okay? I have to have oh, Dance that's, uh, my man from Snowfall, right? Snowfall, yeah, yeah, let's yeah. see. Woo, Franklin. That's my show. I, told, I keep telling him to watch that show. That's my show, dog. <laughs> And yeah. all the ladies like Franklin, yeah, they don't make it no better when we start talking. Got that oh, act, that British accent. Like, oh, Jesus Christ. He, you, can you, say, oh, he, can talk, he can say the alphabet to yeah. me. Oh, like, oh you, you just gonna talk like that? <laughs> <laughs> got you B off rip off the talk. You're like, damn. Yes. This nigga just talk like. <laughs> For sure. Like, you know what's funny? You watch these movies, like, you talking about Michael B. Jordan and the gym when he playing like Creed. Mm hmm. And we, you be seeing niggas like, damn, I gotta get. That's when you, you be with your girl like, I gotta get to the gym real quick. Like, <laughs> yeah. I be my wife like tucking my shit in like, like <laughs> tuck my chest in real quick. For sure. For sure. <laughs> so you see, yeah. she be like, this nigga, who he think he is? I might go to the gym tomorrow. Get that plan fit this little dollar little deal. <laughs> Being well, a little heavy for, for a good week. Yeah. Dude, start chilling, dude. <laughs> have you ever thought about writing your own shit? My own movie. Yeah, a little small, a little. Piece. I have. You know what I saying? have. Like I, I got. It's a lot of things that people don't know about me, things mm -hmm. that I've been through that people don't even know. Like, yeah. you wouldn't even know it looking at me. So it's like, I feel like when I get to a certain point in life, I will reflect back and want to write some shit. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, just. Yeah, yeah. But for right now, you're trying to make sure you get your name out here for you. you yeah, yeah, like, for sure. But I definitely got some shit I could talk about. Like, for sure. whew, relationships alone is the whole yeah, story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I, I've been trying to get in these movies for long because the only thing I want to do is be like a third number two. 
That's uh, number two. Yeah. He'll be over here like, what up, man? <laughs> like, just a Let's small roll here. Small roll. Or just give me a gun tell the nigga put that shit down. Like, man, put that shit down. That's it. That's, like, it. that's it. Like, that's it. Ain't that's nothing it. wrong with it. I just want to put that shit down and be in my little my little resume. Like, yeah, I'll put that put that shit down, man. That's it, put dog. That shit down, man. <laughs> Cause this nigga, we've been talking about this shit for long. Cause he he ain't got shot. I'm like, damn, I want to get shot this motherfucker. I'm screaming. Man, that's just funny as hell. <laughs> Any other movies that you like? Anybody you want to work with in the city? Like, you, I see they got what the Detroit Dreams that that premiere a day at the mm-hmm. Garden Theater. Mm-hmm. Anything? Anybody you want to work with in the city as local, or are you just like shit, whatever? Just get my name out. Listen, I work with I work with anybody who's serious in the city. Like, mm-hmm. I'm just as serious as them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would I would love to work with um I would love to actually do a larger role or just a role with Crystal because mm-hmm. I think she's a great actress. Um, sure. I was trying to get I'm trying to get you on show. I've been you know hitting you. <laughs> I know you got about a hundred thousand followers. Yeah. And shit. <laughs> I got two, so yeah. Um, I would, I would, I would do a role with her. Um, I would definitely do a role. Well, I mean, me, me, and me and James did a role in Black Lives, but mm-hmm. like he's a he's a phenomenal actor as well. So like, I would, I would like to see like a different dynamic of our roles because we didn't really do a lot of shooting together for black lives mm-hmm. but like just seeing how his acting has really like progressed for him like mm-hmm. like i i feel like you know that would be a good pick as sure. well yeah, um for sure, for sure. it's really crazy because it's like i know people more by faces like i listen anybody who's serious who know they can act yeah. like i i, I would want to work with you now like, you mess with snowfall me? i know you probably like damn i wish i would wish i could got rolling um and bmf no, I ain't gonna lie. Like, yeah, yeah like yeah, BMF be dope. is dope as hell. hell like, yeah. I was stuck to the TV. Like, no. I, I had to wait a few weeks. So I just let that shit build yeah, up so for yeah, me yeah, to watch yeah, it. Yeah. I'm like, you oh, hate wait that week. Like, I don't want to wait that yeah. week. Like, fuck that. But shit. But then sometimes you gotta watch it because everybody be on social media telling the whole goddamn yeah, shit. Yeah, you gotta guy, watch man. that shit. I know. I know. Got shot in the eye and shit. Yeah, Southwest TV. We know it, but I want to see it. Yeah, man. Shout out to Southwest TV, man. What up, though? Come on, show. But uh. Now, as far as the acting and stuff, like, you know what I'm saying, the music, uh, I, I know you didn't work with my dog, um, Cash Made It. Mm-hmm. That's my dog. He was on the show. Mm-hmm. When did music come into into the play? Like, you said y'all was writing little freestyles, but you wasn't serious with it. At what point in your life you was like, all right, I want to do this music shit? In 2019. 2019, right? Yeah. Okay. Like, in, in the 2018, 2019, like, that's when I was just like, man, fuck it. Like, mm-hmm. You only got one life. Try that yeah, shit. Yeah, for sure. Hell Try yeah. that shit. If they don't fuck with it, oh well. You gonna yeah, have fuck like it. if they don't fuck with it, somebody gonna fuck with it. For sure. It's for so sure. it's so much music out here. It don't resonate with everybody, but it's a mm-hmm. it's an audience for everything. You yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. So I was I'm okay with it. I'm like let me try it out. Mm-hmm. I'm like you know I got this rough edge to me. I got a spicy ass yeah, mouth. I got yeah, a look. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For like sure. I'm marketable. Why yeah. not? Let's try yeah. it out. See what happens. Yeah. I tried it out. I ain't look back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, like I had to take a little break for a second, but. Even with me doing it again, it was like, it felt natural. It felt home. It just mm-hmm. felt like I'm supposed to be doing this shit. Yeah. yeah I yeah. love performing. Yeah. So it's like, when I get on that stage, I don't, I don't see shit. For sure, yeah, I don't yeah, see yeah. nothing. I just, just see, I just see tunnel vision and the lights and I just like, I'm about to just go crazy. Yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah. what I do. At, like, what, at what point did you realize like, damn, I'm, I'm pretty nice. Like, you know, at first, you know, you start rapping, you're like, all right, I'm still learning how to, you know say My flow. My, yeah. Like, at like, what point you like, damn, I'm nice. Like, was it like, as soon as you started doing it or just like over time? Over time. Okay. I feel like, I feel like when I first was doing it, I was just doing shit. Like, yeah. I was just trying out things to find who I was as an artist. Yeah, like, because yeah. even when I first came out, I had a whole different name. Like, mm-hmm. my name was Lily Mobbin. Uh, yeah, I, I that was I different. That. You yeah, know I what I'm saying? Like, and, and, and I was I was young. I didn't really understand a lot of things uh, about the background knowledge of the, of, of the business side of music and shit mm-hmm. like that. So, I was learning that, too. But... That wasn't me. It's and really then, mobbing as well. You feel me? Like, like, you know, <laughs> like, and that don't even fit me. Like, yeah. that don't fit me. And I was like, you know, my name is Leah Envy, so yeah. just stick with that. Like, yeah. I, I also wanted to um, incorporate more of myself mm-hmm. in it. Like, mm-hmm. I had a whole different image then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and that image wasn't me. So, were you doing that just thinking, all right, this, this is sale? Like, you know what I'm saying? I like, was trying to be different. Yeah. I wasn't trying to be the typical, like, sexy female rapper, but mm-hmm. I'm like, that works. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It works. And it's like, why are you covering up what you yeah. naturally have? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, for sure. Hell yeah. like, if you have that, if you have that, that's just half the battle. Like, mm-hmm. it's some girls who literally have to be that way because they don't have that. Mm-hmm. For and, sure. you know, like, if I'm already marketable, why yeah. am I changing why my, change why changing my image? Yeah. Like, don't make sense. Mobbing, 
<laughs> so what made you like was that that same thing with the name like this don't even fit me like I gotta yeah. change the shit yeah Th- those only two names you ever had Lily Mob and then Leah Envy yeah okay that was it that's mm-hmm. dope Leah Envy that's, 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 that's way better than Lily Mob and... yeah like I ain't gonna lie it, <laughs> it, and it wasn't my idea you know I ain't gonna talk about that but yeah. it wasn't my idea to come out with that name but I was I, I looked at it like okay I, I'm a very strategic person so before I say stuff I would be like alright like it can work but yeah. it had to grow on me but sure. i was okay with it only because like i thought about it from this aspect like okay jay-z people call him jay-z hova okay yeah. diddy p diddy yeah. puffy, puffy all yeah. the all different ass yeah. names yeah. so yeah. i was like all right so i'm like leah envy l-e lily okay yeah. lily is my childhood nickname uh-huh. i don't mind that you know yeah. the mobbing came from because my my tag and my music and then just my whole what i call my audience and mm-hmm. fan base is uh, the cake mob okay. you know yeah. cake mob is you know me my ass you know we mob yeah. the city, you know but cake also can mean money too yeah, you feel sure, me so sure, you know sure. it's it's a double entendre so i was yeah. like and it's just sweet yeah, like yeah, you know yeah. what i'm saying like cake mob like yeah. nigga what the fuck like yeah, yeah, yeah. Cake mob, so, like, you see a cakes <laughs> yeah, you know, like, you see the cake, nigga. Yeah, like, mind. what are we talking about here? You feel me? Oh, funny as hell. Yeah, like, it, yeah. so, so that, that so works. You remember, like, you got to really, like, I'm Lily Marvin. Like, you, like, you got to talk yourself into that shit. I like, did. I had to talk myself into yeah. it. Then I just got comfortable with it. Yeah. But, you know, when I took the little break, and then I came back and I had to rebrand myself. I'm like, it makes more sense. And I'm saying I'm the Cake Mob CEO because yeah. now it, I look sexy saying that shit. Anybody yeah. was like, nigga, you say you the Cake Mob fucking braids, <laughs> yeah, fucking baggy sure. ass clothes. Yeah, like, bitch, yeah. you ain't Still, cute. Like, 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 what the fuck? Yeah, where, the cake, <laughs> where the cake ass? Like, where is that? Bitch, yeah. I can't see. Man, fuck <laughs> You were thugging on that mud, too. I was thugging, I, I was trying to look for stuff. I'm like, Lily Mob, is this her? Yeah. Like, I'm <laughs> Sure. I, I'm like, man, I don't, I don't know if this hurt for nah, real. Nah, that's me. I was, I was, I'm still talking crazy. Yeah, I'm still talking sure, spicy, sure. but yeah, just in a, uh, a in sexy a, way. Yeah, yeah. and I, that, and I think that fuck up niggas because yeah. when they see me, they and yeah. I say I do music. You sing? No, yeah. I don't. Like, First stop thing, yeah. just putting me in yeah, the fucking yeah. singing category. Can you like, sing? I can sing, okay, but okay. that yeah. ain't. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not what I do. For <laughs> sure, I, I, I get it. I get it. Yeah. I get it. Now, who who can you go to as far as like who gonna keep it real with your music? Like, you know what? Uh, this this ain't this ain't working like this song ain't working or you ain't spitting right like is anybody you can go to that's gonna keep it real and not just be, you know saying now no hating shit yeah yeah i i got a few people in my corner that i really value mm-hmm. um when it comes to getting their honest opinion and i i don't care i receive criticism very well if you say that shit yeah. trash yeah. let yeah. me know why it's trash like let no, me know yeah, what i can change yeah, like break it down don't just say it's yeah. trash like because then i'm gonna think you a hater like you For already sure. got to give me some insight you know yeah. what i'm saying but um yeah, like you know, my child's father, mm-hmm. um, my homeboy, um, my home, my homeboy Marlo, Marlo mm-hmm. Classy. Shout out to you. Um, who else? Um, my other homeboy, uh, G Thirteen. Like I, I fuck with them. Mm-hmm. Um, who else? Shit, because <laughs> I, I, I like I, I be so tapped in with a lot of people. For sure, for sure. So hell yeah. But just know, like I really got a good circle yeah. of people no, that no, keep it real. Because I like. No, and what you say is important. Like, if you gonna tell me something ain't right, tell me why. Don't yeah. just say, "Oh, that's a trash." Why? Shit, I don't know. It's just I ain't rocking with yeah. it. Yeah. Like, if you gonna, shit, nigga, tell me, nigga, this didn't fit. This mm-hmm. didn't. You know, I, I said something too fast or whatnot. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now speaking of that, what you, first time in the studio, like, was it like trash? Like, cause a lot of times you rap in the room is different from rapping when you put those those headphones on. Mm-hmm. Like, did it take some getting used to as far as like getting a feel for being in the studio and record music? It did take some getting used to, but the craziest thing is, is that when like i was already hearing the 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 conversations like you know it's it's gonna probably sound weird it's probably gonna you know feel weird to you or or sound weird hearing your voice on the track so don't get nervous Mm -hmm. when i heard my voice on the track for the first time played back i was like that shit sound good because my voice is for some reason like when i project my voice my voice gets deep and raspy Yeah, 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 yeah so it's like I, I when I when I heard it back, I'm like, I wrote that yeah, beat, yeah. like I, I sound did. good, yeah, yeah, like yeah. okay, hold on, yeah, like, you know yeah, what I'm sure, like, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, mm-hmm. Why you dabble in the music? That's what, I'll be like, my voice is way different in studio than like my my in person. Yeah, like, your talking voice yeah. is different versus that for sure. Like, damn, I sound weak as hell in person, but then <laughs> oh, the track you yeah. sound hard, like, like who fuck Because I, I, I swear, God, my uh, my homegirl Blair was like, like damn, you sound dark skin, like I was scared and shit, like, all right, damn. <laughs> 
My voice weak as hell then. Oh, damn. Shit, you sound like dark skin. Yeah. Like, did nobody knew I was doing music? Screaming. Yeah, I'm in this bitch like, what? Like, this nigga dark skin, Meek Mill, this bitch and shit. I'm good. <laughs> That's funny. No, yeah, well, no. Now, how you meet with your manager? I, you know, I, 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 I gently, briefly heard the little, you know saying, what you discussed on Meet the Connect as far as your previous manager. Mm -hmm. So, how you meet up with this, with this new guy as far as like, and what made you, you know saying, trust in him as far as like, you know, taking that manager role on? I mean, we met, um, we met literally doing a podcast mm -hmm. and then we chopped it up afterwards and we was just, he was like, you know, I used to manage artists, blah, blah, blah. Like sure. I'm actually looking for an artist mm -hmm. and we just talked about it and like communication was good. And I just was, you know, was asking him like, what should I do differently? Like mm -hmm. what, what, what could I do to get to the next level type shit? And he was just giving me a lot of game and yeah. hipping me to shit. So I was like, all right, cool. You know, I'm like, we could try it out. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not open. I'm not, I'm not closed off to trying nothing, yeah, but sure. it got to make sense. And yeah, if it yeah. makes sense, I'll try yeah, it. Work, but yeah. if it don't work out, I just say, fuck it. I try and keep mm -hmm. it moving. Cause I mean, life is all about taking chances. And if you don't take a chance, you don't know what could work. For sure. You know? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. And then like sometimes artists put too much pressure on the manager. Like he gonna do so much. Like yeah. you gotta close that deal out. Yeah. He's like, no, it's your fault that I ain't make it. You yeah, no, nah, like, like it's 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 not it's not just one person fault. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Like sure. you gotta take accountability for your shit. You gotta understand mm -hmm. what what you did wrong or what you could have did better. Mm -hmm. Like and that's how you grow. Mm -hmm. Like and you just gotta have those type of people around you that's willing to grow with you Hell yeah. to elevate to get to the next level, you Hell know? Yeah. He was so. on the shit though. He was hitting me up, he was on the shit. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, so nigga, can she go Friday? No, she working Friday. Fridays, like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, well, shit, Sunday good, yeah. yeah. Right, she coming, yeah. What beat she want? This, like, I'm like, all right, he was on this shit. I ain't had to say not one word. And you came on time. I'm like, damn, y'all niggas doing y'all shit. Yeah, yeah. He was, he was play by play, like, nigga, she on the freeway. Yeah, accident. <laughs> Ten minutes away. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, this was crazy. I'm like, listen, I don't understand why half the damn exits was closed off. Man, ramps. I'm like, this construction. You on 94? Trying to get Not, on 94 East. 94 is a motherfucker. Man, yeah, what? Man. Had me come off and take the street, detour yeah. around? Like, what the I'm fuck in, is this? I'm in Livonia. I just like, fuck, I'll take yeah, eight miles straight See, out. I, I stay in Plymouth. So, therefore, yeah. it's oh, like. Oh, yeah, so you ain't far. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm out there. Mm -hmm. Like, 275. Getting, like, come yeah, on. Yeah, nah, yeah, God yeah. damn. I'm like, damn, that shit is fucking you probably look at the address like, damn. I, I, <laughs> now, let me ask you this, I've been me I've been meaning to ask people this. What do you be I be wanna know what people be thinking when they pull up to the podcast and it's at the crib. We at the crib, y'all. Y'all know we in the basement. Uh, what you thinking like, shit nigga, I don't know about this. I mean, yeah. I didn't though, cause okay. I mean shit, like I'm hood. Yeah. I'm hey, some things, niggas don't you know be yeah, like, some people don't be wanna fuck with this. Nah, you know what I'm like you you scared then you shouldn't be yeah. over here. Yeah. You shouldn't be over here. Like I be wonder like side dough, like, like oh, yeah, shit. like you know, I, I might look cute and prissy and shit, motherfuckers think I'm bougie, but I'm like, no nigga, like I'm <laughs> fine with that shit. Like for I sure. actually feel comfortable because you know, yeah. like this is where I come from yeah, type yeah, shit. Sure. Like and then when they come out straight, they see we got the whole setup, yeah, a producer and shit right here, mm -hmm. nigga, my nigga, a top flight yeah. producer and shit. <laughs> so everybody be like, good, like, all right, yeah. man, it's cool, it's cool. And here. then it's funny because I'm not gonna lie, like I seen your podcast before, so yeah. like I was like, okay, then I come here, I'm like, this the one, yeah, like, yeah. You know, like, <laughs> like, like oh, this. Okay, cool. I've yeah, been yeah. seeing it. I, I watched a few people you interviewed. I was like, okay, I'm like, that For shit sure. dope. I'm sitting sure. at home, like, I want to be on this bitch. Here yeah. I go. Hell yeah. <laughs> if, you, if, if you just want to check that DM, <laughs> I know, right? But, <laughs> okay, mate, I, I said that shit. Let me see. I said that shit so early ago, though. <laughs> That's your funny as hell. But listen, timing is everything. Cause no, I wouldn't, sure. I wouldn't have been ready then either. Yeah, probably, you know probably. what I'm saying? I wouldn't have been ready. I, 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 mm. I said that DM August six. Oh yeah, I wasn't ready in August. <laughs> I wasn't ready in August. Like yeah, come on the show and shit. Uh uh, I'm and like, it's my birthday month. I was definitely not ready in August. Oh, I was shit. I was planning to turn the fuck yeah. up. <laughs> when about the August what? August seventeenth. Okay. And okay. that wouldn't have worked out anyway because I was yeah. filming a movie at that time. So mm -hmm. yeah. It, so you right everything about time. Mm -hmm. Perfect time and shout out to the manager, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> now uh, projects. You know what I'm saying? When you when you plan on dropping a project and uh, you know what I'm saying? How you want to be a long boy, a little short EP like. Yeah, I want, I want it to be a short EP, okay. um, you know, just to just to display and showcase like, you know, this is what I this is what I've been working on. This is what mm -hmm. I got coming just to introduce people back to like the new side. You For know sure. what I'm saying? Yeah, like, because yeah, yeah. I don't have a large fan base, not, not to my knowledge, mm -hmm. but like that. But. The people who do know me for music, they know the old, they know the old so image really and mom. shit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, so I'm trying Just to introduce mom. them to me being more authentic of myself yeah facts, facts so like a lot of people know me as a model mm -hmm. so i'm like okay like yeah but this model turned rapper now you yeah, know what i'm saying yeah, like yeah, she got yeah. some shit to say like she's a little spicy yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, facts. yeah so yeah. yeah that's 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 definitely something i'm working on a project um 
I'm definitely trying to have it come out this year. Okay. Um, I don't have a specific time because I'm still trying to work on finding yeah. my sound. Sure. But yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm damn near there. Like, mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie. Some of these BC yeah, producers yeah. are sending. I'm like, yeah. this the shit. My, I dog, got yeah, my you. dog Cash made it. Like I said, yes. your song. He, 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 he nice. Like, and Cash, he, you, you uh, yeah. open my damn DM, nigga. Like, oh, yeah. hello. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, cool. to her. Hey, like, what's hey, going man. on? Cash, come on, dog. <laughs> we about to fight, my nigga. Yeah, yeah. Like, come on. I need some more shit. Yeah, my dog. Uh, I was just telling him, like, my dog named Amazing. He mm-hmm. makes some good beats, too. Like, he a dope mm-hmm. dude. Like, mm-hmm. and nigga, he, he, he did some shit with uh, Dope Boy, uh, Dre. Like, mm-hmm. he be out here. So, yeah, mm-hmm. Amazing, my nigga Cash made it. Like, mm-hmm. if I ever drop a project, I'm going to fuck with them niggas. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Like, they, I, I like, I fuck with they sound. Like, when I was in the studio, that's how I even came across cross cash like i was at the studio and i was uh trying to record the song that i recorded now that i actually used his beat for mm-hmm. it, it was a tw- i wrote it to a whole nother beat yeah, yeah, but yeah. The, the thing was is like when i went back to the producer it was sold so okay. i was like damn yeah, I'm like i gotta yeah. i'm like i ain't trying to waste this shit bro like yeah. I, I i fuck with what i wrote sure, you know what sure, i'm saying like, bro, i fuck yeah. with it so yeah. I, I, I gotta get this shit out so he was just he was in there he was at the session mm. and he was like I mean you know like I didn't even know what he did I ain't yeah, gonna yeah, lie yeah, you know yeah. like me I know people more by faces yeah, but sure. I'm such a private person I don't even be prying to people business I don't be like yeah. Ooh, what you do I don't yeah. give a fuck like if we're gonna talk we're gonna have a conversation but I'm not about to pry it out of you like I don't mm-hmm. I don't I don't do that like that's just not my personality I don't do shit like that for sure, for sure. so he there and he started playing his beats and I was like I heard that one and I was like yeah, it's just smooth. I need yeah. that bitch. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I already right, got something that. for it. Everything. I already got something for it. Yeah. I had to redo. I had to redo my cadence to make it fit. But yeah, when yeah. I got that shit right, yeah, that's it. Yeah, because when I heard my cash man, oh my nigga on that yeah, bitch. Yeah, you feel me? That's what's up. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now there's a lot. Of, you know, what I'm saying female rappers in this city, but one thing I, I know is like it's not a lot of female rappers that work together. You know, mm-hmm. what I'm saying, w- w- are you considering uh, working with another? Yeah, yeah, because like a lot, a lot of, they don't, they just don't do it. You see more so. Uh, female having a dude featured on that on that mm-hmm. song and vice versa. Like I never see like two girls, you know, working together. Like I don't I don't know why that is. I mean, mm-hmm. a lot of it could be like maybe intimidation or mm-hmm. something like or like fear of jealousy. I don't know because because females can be weird too. Oh, yeah, but sure. at the same time, like I feel like a lot of that has to do with like how social media always try to put people against each other like make motherfuckers feel like they in competition when mm-hmm. it's really not a competition like yeah. you do your shit i do my shit we collab together that's just what it is like yeah. it's all love like sure. yeah i'm not i'm definitely not closed off to working with no females yeah. like you feel me like at all yo yeah for sure now i know you probably want them big name niggas like hell of a you ever think about like them niggas like as far mm-hmm. or, or like rappers like any rappers from the city you want to fuck with and work with like dude wise, female wise, whatever. Like dude wise, yeah. Like I'm not gonna lie. Like I've always been a fan of Ray. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, yeah, like sure. I've always been a it fan. It took me a while to get hip to uh, to to, uh, to 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 dog. Nah, like the first very first song that I ever heard by Ray, and this was <sighs> shit. I ain't gonna lie. Like honestly, like well when he branched off, but yeah. I of course I was introduced to Team Eastside like my fucking. High, senior year of high school yeah, like yeah, I, yeah. I knew who yeah, the fuck yeah. they was you know what i'm saying yeah. like i was they had to hide the shit out yeah, that yeah. summer so that I, I was hip to them but with the very first song that i heard like ray by himself was who whose beat is this okay and it killed that shit <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. i was i don't know where how where the fuck That's i think crazy. i want to say i was I, th- I think it was 20 14 or some yeah. shit like that yeah yeah so you was at, you said high school 2014 God, no, no 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 oh, no oh, no <laughs> No, like, no, nah, like, I was, I was in high school, and my senior year is twenty twelve. But like, Still, hearing man. him, hearing that song by himself, like, was in twenty fourteen. Mm-hmm. I was just like, who the fuck yeah. is this? Oh, and yeah, I was I, like, okay, you yeah, know, yeah, and yeah. I was fucking with it. Yeah, see, I didn't yeah. get hip to the niggas until like, I ain't gonna lie, two years ago. Okay, like, before I like listen to them, mm-hmm. only people I was kind of listening to from the city was like. Dope boys, payroll, like, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, Vezo, but everybody else, everybody kept talking about PZ and Babyface. I'm like, oh, I don't rock with them. Mm-hmm. Now, I listen, like, oh, these niggas kind of straight. Yeah, like, like, I fuck with this shit, though. One thing about me, I love my I love my, uh, my Detroit music. I'm not going to sure. lie, like, for sure. I'm Hell not yeah. going to lie. And like I said, everybody, everybody messing with us right now, like you said, with the music, with the acting, mm-hmm. all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Now, with me, I'm, I'm a big competitive person. Like, I don't care if I'm... If I'm throwing water in the garbage, I gotta make that jump first. Like you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm competitive like that. Sometimes with the podcast, even though people say you shouldn't be competitive, <clears throat> competitive, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but it's it's a 
good thing. It's a it's a it's a thing that's like called like good competition. Yeah, for though. sure. Like for you sure. know what I'm saying? Like yeah. as long as you ain't on the bad side, no, you no, straight. No. You know? My, it's all love. Like I, I feel like everybody should be competitive at what they passionate yeah. about. So do you like come off like that? Like with your acting, with modeling, with music? Like do you be like, all right? I gotta you know what I'm saying kill the next song. I gotta make sure I'm like you know what yeah. I'm saying. I stand out and shit. Yeah, like I I do. I'm not gonna lie. Like it'd be so funny because like. Okay, I had did this this um this showcase and mm. it was from my knowledge I only seen two other females there. Mm. And I was like, "Okay, cool." Like, you know, they went up and like I spoke to them, like, "Hey girl, you know, yeah, you look cute, sure. you know, yeah. bump yep. shoulders and shit." And then yeah. when I seen them go up there and perform, in my head I was like, oh, "I got this shit." Yeah. Like, I ain't gonna lie, like Lily Marvin I, came out. Like, Marvin no, came out. Like, Lily Marvin didn't come out. Leah Envy came okay, out. Like, okay. that's a whole nother oh, that's that's, 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 that's a whole nother ego. I'm okay. not gonna lie. Like, when I say that's hi to them, be. I was Leah. Like, yeah. I was just regular old Aaliyah. You feel yeah, me? Like, yeah, then. then I see, I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. I got here. Like, See, I got this shit. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking <laughs> yeah, about. Yeah, like I don't know. Like it's just like game face came on, but I'm like it's still good competition. Yeah, like you know, sure. I still gave her her flowers. Like you did that shit out there, but. What I saw, <laughs> I like, and it's crazy because I like to see when people go up before me, yeah. so I can know what the fuck I got up against. Sure, yeah, like, yeah. and if I see somebody that's called, I'm never gonna, I'm not a hater. I'm like, yeah. you did your shit, you for feel sure. me? For sure. But if you out there just looking stupid, yeah. like I'm still gonna like, yeah. you know, like yeah. how you did that, but yeah, yeah. it's like, man, I'm about to slaughter your yeah, ass. Yeah, like, for sure. no. That's how you gotta think, like everything. Yeah. That's why the whole little people that play on the shot versus everybody ain't because. Detroit versus everybody. I mean, I'm like, damn, yeah, it's just me. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? For the most part, he helped me and John Dog, but I'm like, shit, nigga, me against everybody. Like, yeah. fuck it, nigga. Like, that's what it is. Mm-hmm. So I look at everything as competition just to make me better, not like trying to shit on nobody. I just try to make sure I'm on my shit. So in my mind, I got this imaginary, you know what I'm saying, competition or this beef. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it, it really don't exist, but it's mm-hmm. it's I'm tricking myself to try to come as hard as I can as far as you know what I'm saying if it's if it's music if it's me coaching if it's just podcast like all right bet I'm gonna try to do what I gotta do mm-hmm. so you know what I'm saying yeah. but yeah that's all I that do. makes so, sense you know, that know? makes sense though ain't yeah. nothing wrong with a good friendly competition out here oh, yeah. there's always competition with everything it is I mean shit if you if you don't have competition how you supposed to elevate and grow like no, you su- sure. you supposed to see what they doing so you can work on your craft and make yeah, sure that exactly. your shit is still aligned exactly. like like you said I big up everybody like I love the niggas on, on me to connect like you big people up like, yeah. yeah but then back in your mind like alright I gotta make sure that, that I stick shit. out yeah, yeah that's, that's all it, it is and that's I think it. that they should think or or whoever else, they should think the same way. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you always got to stay on your toes. You yeah. just, you got to stay on your toes. Yeah, if you don't, something wrong. For sure. <laughs> so, I got, I, you know, you do music, you do acting and stuff. You said, you know what I'm saying, you already mentioned the cakes and stuff. And you got, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, yeah. You, you, you're not a bad looking uh, uh, young lady. Mm-hmm. So, I know with that come dudes who try to work with you and try to say something about the music, but they really trying to get on. <laughs> like how often do they happen? Because it gotta be tough to be a woman nowadays when oh, you're doing Jesus. stuff and you got you don't know what dude to trust as far as like all right, he really trying to work or he really trying to work to get I on. I don't me. trust him. Yeah. I don't yeah. like. Off bail, I'm not trusting you because <laughs> nigga, you on some slick shit. Like mm-hmm. only way I know you serious is if you hitting me up and you like, all right, I'm trying to get in the studio. For sure. And if you really setting that shit up for real, all right, cool. But if you yeah. hitting me up on some what you doing shit, no, yeah. bye. I'm not responding. Block. Yeah, for sure, for sure. You're yeah, blocked. Yeah. And that's yeah. talking about. And then, and then no. niggas be coming out like that shit be weak. Like if if you do, you could like just let that shit happen. You know what I'm saying? Over time and shit. Like don't just come right in the DM like yeah, I'm trying to fuck around with you. Like <laughs> I mean, but here's the thing. Say that so I can know whether what the fuck is going yeah. on because don't if use you the just, music. Don't for some use bullshit. the music. Yeah. That's the bullshit. Don't do that. Like if you know for a fact that you can help me or you wanna or you wanna uh really collab on some shit, mm-hmm. but you find me attractive, say that. So I know what to do because yeah, for sure, for sure. I will literally the minute that you talk about business, you're strictly <laughs> friend zone. You're never coming out that bitch like yeah, it's not, yeah. it's all business. Sure. It's all business. Yeah. But if you coming at me like you know like I also fuck with you too like you know you single blah blah, blah like yeah. all right like but I'm still gonna keep it business. Yeah, but like, you know I'm good. But it's, you know what I'm work. saying. But yeah. like no like pretty much no like I don't I don't play around like Had that. Had ever though. fucked up like a relationship with somebody like as far as like somebody trying to fake like they want to work with you but they trying to you know what I'm saying hell yeah nigga oh. block <laughs> right now like you can't come off this bitch and yeah, then you, you know who it is and you see it no yeah <laughs> <laughs> not at all <laughs> but no, damn man yeah but niggas be some, niggas be messing up on that part like I just all be knowing like, like that's work like they ain't trying to work because they hear you and your talent or 
or your acting or yeah, whatever. Yeah, they be on wanted. some weird shit. I mean, it's like, how weirds out here. Like, what the fuck is you weird for? Like, we have a lot of conversations about weird niggas. It's like niggas, man, women. Like, it's a lot of weirdos out here. Like, it's so many weird like, motherfuckers. Yeah, y'all weird, bro. Shit, I'll be like, bro, like you, just, you knew your agenda this whole yeah. time. Like, you just had to lie like that for so sure. much. For Don't sure. do that. Now, Don't. have you uh, you been doing you know what I'm saying like with the music and stuff and and acting like you do a lot of things. Do have you? Ever, have it been a time that you've been frustrated because you like something should be taking off a lot more than what it is right now? Yes, Man, all how, the time. Do you ever want to like voice your opinion on social media? Be like, no, I'm good. Like, I'm yeah, like, like I, I'm not about to waste my time ranting and going off on it on social media. What that's yeah. gonna do? Yeah, for sure. What is that gonna do? It's yeah. not gonna do shit. All it's gonna do is let people who don't like me laugh. Yeah. All it's gonna <laughs> do is motherfucking give motherfuckers who don't f who do fuck with me like what the fuck is this girl doing? Like, yeah, for sure. it's no yeah, purpose. Yeah. Like, no. <laughs> you you just gonna have to just like you can you can express it in a different way. I'm not about sure. to express it on social media though. Yeah. Like, but I yeah, do yeah. feel like that. I be yeah. feeling like that about a lot of things yeah. and i'll be like eh, damn I'm, like, doing, I'm doing everything i can do like yeah. what the fuck like you know but what I'm also part of that has to deal with maturity and understanding that it's all about timing for sure. like no, for it's sure. not it may not be your time right yeah. now Some you don't know what the, yeah, yeah you, know you don't what know what that person did or the the grind that they put in yep. in behind closed doors mm -hmm. for them to get this shine publicly you Facts. know what i'm saying like Facts. you don't know what they did you Facts. don't know how long they've been doing it you just from your knowledge you just see it because they just posted that shit but you don't know they just been they don't been doing that shit for yeah, 10 for years yeah, for you sure, know like sure. hell yeah so that's that's the yeah, thing yeah, y'all yeah, gotta start crying out here man. Like, <laughs> don't be crying yeah. suck it's, it up yeah <laughs> i mean it's cool to cry to yourself like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? like, like that's how i found out my career was bad like <laughs> Did nobody know that shit? Dude. I was in this. You feel me? And then, like, you know, you post that shit on social media, niggas go, oh, you remember? You nigga with terrible credit. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, fucking 550, nigga. Yeah, ass, like, what the fuck? Man, yeah. now you looking stupid. You already hurt. Now, everybody else know you hurt and laugh at you. For ass. sure, for so you sure. You hurt her, nigga. Like, they may have a word, but you hurt her, though. <laughs> yeah, know. for sure. Now, uh, you know, I always ask people for, you know, they get a show they want to, you know what I'm saying, rap and stuff, man. So you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Step up to the play and just, you know. Hey, listen. Ready for this? I'm, I'm ready. Oh, for sure. It's the first uh first uh, round. I'm not gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, we got the uh motherfucking freestyle coming up, you know what I'm saying? We got Leah Leah Envy in this mug, you know what I'm saying? That's it. Shout out Tuesday. Yeah. You hear the beat? I hear that. <laughs> Nigga said he want it, but don't never want to spend it. How the fuck he getting money, but he stay in whole business? <laughs> Love. Mike will Let me talk to him. <laughs> I'm about to talk my shit. <laughs> yeah. I'm about to talk my shit. These niggas don't want that shit. Hell no. Nah. They don't want it. Love. Ay, look, I get the money, no counterfeit Please turn your attitude down a bit You worry about where your nigga at I get his money and send him back We making a movie, no cinemax Oh, you ain't into that <laughs> These bitches my daughters Should be chasing a naho with Similac I got a problem with bitches Now about a lot of you bitches You bitches is whacking you all in the way Oh my God, it's a lot of you bitches Ain't got no daddy and follow these niggas that give you a dollar, you listen You think it's knowledge and wisdom Be paying a lot of attention Sitting on water like Cuba <laughs> Stone cold the look is Medusa Ay, this is a confessions of a bad bitch Sleeping on me better get a mattress Pussy nigga make do a backflip I swear I'd make a nigga do theatrics <laughs> I'ma fuck it up and get it right back Moonwalking to the money Mike Jack He said he wanna eat it and I got snacks <laughs> Look, nigga say he want it but don't never wanna spend it How the fuck he get money but he stay in whole business How the fuck these niggas Ooh, shit! She was gone, she was going in Goddamn, whole whole ass niggas in my fucking girl business I'm telling you, listen, stay out these bitches business Hell nigga yeah. for real <laughs> See how like the voice changed up. Yeah, I told you it be changing sometimes. Yeah, it be doing that shit. Yeah, that was a uh, shout out Goddamn Tuesday with Leah Envy and shit, man. <laughs> Before I caught a couple of them bars with the, that similar joke. That was funny as hell. Like, <laughs> what was the one shit with the dollar? Like, you know, oh, the, it, yeah, <laughs> you know they be paying attention. Mm -hmm. You know these niggas give you a dollar. The hell fuck, yeah. the, you think that's some real shit? Like, nigga, the fuck, <laughs> the fuck is that? Like, yeah. so, so you say project coming soon? Yeah, for sure. Now for I, sure. I wanted to come soon because you know a lot of people say coming soon. 
Maybe soon, soon, soon. No, but. it ain't no soon, <laughs> soon, soon like that. Like, no, nah, no, nah, not at all. Like, yeah. I know for a fact, like, um, I'm dropping my single, yeah, Back yeah, to Business. Sure. That's definitely coming out. Um, yeah, yeah. And that will be on the EP. But sure. um, I would say, I know it's definitely coming by the end of the year. Mm -hmm. Like, if it come out before that, that's fine. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I'm I, still trying to find my song. Sure. And I'm, no, I'm okay, sure. okay with taking yeah, my yeah, time. Take like, time. Yeah. I'm okay with taking my time. Because one thing about me, I'm not about to put on no bullshit. I don't want to yeah. put on no bullshit. You feel me? Yeah, like, yeah. no, not at yeah. all. Now, uh, you know what I'm saying? We talk about the modeling before we get to the end of the show. When did that become like something you wanted to do? Was you one of those little girls watching America's Next Top Model? Very much. Tyra Banks and shit. Very what, much. What my girl named Takara. Yeah. I, hey, don't ask me how I know. I was, <laughs> I was in a relationship with somebody who used to watch it, so I had to watch it too. <laughs> yes. Eva, yeah, Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Lord, me. Ooh, I yeah. love her. She's yeah. so beautiful. So like when you was watching that, that was like where the dream kind of came, like it watching was. those shows? I'm not going to lie. I was, yeah. I was glued to the TV during mm -hmm. that time when and Tyra Banks and Naomi Campbell and Iman, mm -hmm. like I, I used to beg my mama to buy me the Jet Magazines. I used to sure. stare at them. I used to literally, like, you know, practice the poses. When yeah. I got my first digital camera at 12, like, I was literally taking my pictures by myself. For sure. Hell first yeah. pair of heels, like, walking. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, like, I really, I really fell in love with that craft. Yeah. And I... Of course, at that time, the industry of modeling was different. Like, you mm -hmm. had to be thin, this, that, and the third. So, I was okay with being a skinny girl. Because sure, I'm sure. like, I'm going to be a model when I get older. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, but, yeah. but now, shit. Right now, it, it's ain't no discrimination now. towards it's anybody not, with modeling. You can be heavy set. Yeah, you can be short, tall, yeah. you know. Like, I used to feel bad, though, because I'm not it's super tall. Like, I'm tall, but I'm also, like, average height for a female. I'm 5'6". Yeah. So, yeah, it's yeah. like, for the runway, you had to be 5'9 at the time sure, with yeah. no heels. I'm like, damn, yeah. I can never be a runway yeah, model. But, sure. shit, yeah, yeah. it changed now. Yeah, you know? Yeah, <laughs> you sure. feel sure. me? I didn't did my, plenty uh, of runways. And... My homie, a plus-size model, man, Brittany Newton. She, mm -hmm. uh, she out here in the, from the city, too, and shit. Mm -hmm. She dope. Now, uh, you take professional pictures, you know what I'm saying? A lot of cakes and stuff. and You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, no, I'm saying, like, I'm just saying with the pictures and stuff. <laughs> but, uh, with, you taking professional pictures and taking it serious, do you be laughing like chicks would be like, oh, I'm a model. I'll take a few pictures and post on IG like that. I, I ain't gonna lie. I'm I be model. laughing my ass off. I'm not gonna lie. I be like, nah, bitch, like, <laughs> like what? Like, this yeah. not even edited. Like, yeah, you, sure. you posted this shit? Yeah. And, like, and the photographer ain't tell you not yeah. to post this shit. It's not edited. Like, what are we doing? I see oil spots. I see my, <laughs> like, you ain't even got no real backdrop. You got a fucking curtain. Like, what yeah, the yeah. fuck is and this? Like, doing uh -huh. so Hand yes, and right. they be calling themselves models, and I be yeah. like, "Oh, my baby, you need Man. a little grasshopper." You yeah, need. It's, it's like IG models in the yeah. captions, and so IG, I mean, model. Like, and I be like, "No, that's not what that is. Like, you gotta, you gotta know your angles, your poses. You gotta understand why you like it. You man. can't just book a photo shoot and take pictures, and now you a model. Like, sure. no, that yeah, shit, yeah. that right there be pissing me off because yeah. I be like." You don't even like. You don't even like it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you, you just doing it. Yeah. You just doing it because you saw your homegirl do it. Yeah, so you yeah. like she took cook pictures. Like yeah. no, no. So I can do it. Yeah. yeah, I do it as niggas and shit. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I can do it. I can do it. Like you can do everything. Shit, go sit I down. swear to God, sit your ass down, man. Yes, it's so crazy. It's like everybody want to do a podcast. Like sit your ass down. You no, 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 for real. <laughs> now I did on uh, Meet the Connect. That's when you was um. With your with your with your homeboy who do the pictures. That, yeah, my that's, photographer. That's who you still fuck with. Yep. Work with? Okay. Yeah, Will. Now, I, Shout now, out to Will. I know with that one, like you really got to find somebody who you really trust, cause you you know what I'm saying you you got little clothes on, you do this and stuff, so you, yeah, you know you don't need no you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. some old pervert ass niggas. For sure, pictures. I have came across that. <laughs> <laughs> Man. I have came across that, and that I, that. Mm -mm. Well, so you did you like know off the rip like soon you enter like all right, all right this nigga fucking pervert like or yeah for sure professional you yeah know like it it was like I, w I will always come to my shoots with like my friends and shit mm -hmm. like i would never be by myself oh that's the most definitely yeah and i'll come in there and i'll be like what the fuck like what is this i'm <laughs> yeah. like I i'm out like no nah, we not doing so you that. had shit like you so you walked in the door you walked out like it's, yeah, it's like, been times like damn. that but the crazy thing is it's like photographer you can't get mad at me because i already no. set the tone when you when you reached out to For me sure, like yeah. i don't at the time because again the standard of modeling was like they had different categories of it so it was easy for you to model in lingerie and it mm -hmm. become raunchy and distasteful so sure. i always wanted it to be tasteful i always yeah, wanted it to be yeah, a yeah. lingerie model not an urban model For sure, For you sure. know yeah, yeah, yeah. so as time went on like now it's different like mm -hmm. you can you can show your ass and still be considered a tasteful classy sure. type yeah, yeah, of yeah, picture yeah, yeah, yeah. it is just depends on the setting the background the light and all that mm -hmm. shit like it can really go left yeah, quick sure. Hell, yeah. so I, if i come in the setting and you got a hotel room and <laughs> shit yeah. and ain't, ain't no backdrop put up i'm like what yeah. the fuck like nigga this ain't no porn <laughs> shit i'm out this 
fuck? Like, nigga, no, iPhone like, 13. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, nigga ain't even got no real camera. Like, a Polaroid. Yeah, like, bitch, what the fuck? Like, no, I'm not God fucking damn. with it. Funny as hell. I'm not That's fucking funny. with it. You know, so, all right, let me ask you. You, um, growing up, you ever watch that episode, that show, The Smart Guy? Yeah. It was an episode, dog, that this kid, the uh, smart guy and his homegirl was, um, they was, um, Fucking around with these video games on computer. Uh, so man was like, "Yeah, white dude, come to my house and I got more video games for you." So then he was trying to like shoot some pictures of him. He's like, "Man, it's a virtual game. Just stand on this um surfboard." So he taking pictures like this is cool. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, why? You want to take your clothes off and like yeah, you're on the surfboard? Yeah, that's weird. Nah, you weird. So then smart guy was like, "No, no." Like, my girl was like, "Yes, let's do it." He like, "No, we leaving." And then niggas, I'm glad they made it away and shit. Though. Yeah. Like, but <laughs> But I was thinking about how you say come in in this situation and know shit was weird. They should have known that shit was weird. Yeah. The uh, white old dude trying to mm -hmm. play some video games with some 10 year olds. Yeah, that's weird as hell. Hey, y'all sure. go watch the episode of Smart Guy, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling all type of shit. Y'all didn't know about Bow Wow. Yeah, yeah I still don't know about that. Yeah, Def Jam, <laughs> perverse and shit, dog. <laughs> but um, now, you do a lot. You, you know what I'm saying? What's some stuff that. Cause it's all tied in with within the industry. What's some stuff that you don't like? Cause of course you're gonna say what you love about it. But what's some shit that you don't like that you gotta deal with when it comes to like acting, rapping, modeling? What's some shit that you hate about it? One thing I don't like though is um like they 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 don't they don't really work with people who aren't as big. For sure, yeah. I don't yeah, yeah. like that sometimes because, yeah. like, you give people a chance. For like, sure, yeah. you know you what I'm saying? Know. Like, give people a chance. Like, they might be what you was looking for, but because you're so used to this popular name, exactly. you're going to go to that popular name. For sure. But it's like, that popular name have done so much, but it's like, this other person could probably mm -hmm. do it 10 times better. You know what I'm saying? Yep. I feel like that a lot. Like, but I mean, that's just part of the game. That's for part sure. of the politics. And I, like, it is what yeah, it is. No, that's but, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know, feel like that. That's though. like, we, we're doing podcasts, we're doing interviews. Like, if it's a, if it, the name, not as big as the person I had on previous then it, oh you ain't gonna watch it like nigga this person might be dope as hell you yeah. know what I'm saying you never know yeah for so, sure yeah that shit weird <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah now uh, last thing I'm gonna ask you before we start wrapping up and get to my last little couple of questions is um you know what I'm saying is it hard to try to pursue a relationship with you having a little man and doing all these things that you're doing like do you even think about relationship or you just focus solely on making sure my son right making sure I'm good as far as like my music, my acting, my modeling, like, you kind of, like, block niggas out there. Like, nigga, I'm blocking, all right? All right I'm good. Nigga. Right now, yeah, yeah, I'm, like, I'm good because mm -hmm. it's it's too much stress. It's too much. I can't deal with that. Like, I feel like the the biggest issue that I have is I always run into insecure niggas. For sure. Yeah, yeah, I always right. run into niggas who are intimidated by what I have. Yeah. And that shit is weird. Like, I'd yeah. be like, bro, you should want your bitch to be on, you know, to be doing some shit. Yeah, you know what I'm sure. saying? Like, you should yeah. want her to, like pursue her dreams and like really go hard for that shit like yeah. you shouldn't want no couch potato you, should, yeah, you know what i'm saying like that shit yeah. crazy but no, a lot of niggas like their issue is is you in the limelight and they can't handle that yeah no you can't that shit weird. you gotta be like a real secure ass nigga like when you're you know what I'm saying you doing at the scene i would be hurt if you like if i'm with you and you make love to a nigga like damn they were doing but good. i mean here's the thing though like you can watch that shit on the movie though sure. yeah, 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 so yeah. like it's how, how else yeah. are these movies gonna be made people no, gotta sure. do yeah, it gotta people do gotta, it. gotta make you yeah. know what i'm saying but if you really understand strong. if you understand the background of it yeah. and like if you open to come like because again when i date somebody like i invite you to it yeah, for like sure. yeah, come on get too. you comfortable like yeah. so you can understand like this for ain't sure. that you know what i'm saying like yeah. everything is professional mm -hmm. it's all broken down like but niggas be yeah. i ain't coming to that well don't come then but bitch when it come out don't be mad because <laughs> yeah, 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 i'm yeah. still gonna do i'm not stopping what for i have no, going on for that. you yeah, never you gonna never be, do that. no yeah. no never yeah, 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 not yeah. in life <laughs> hey man uh, don't come on weirdo shit man <laughs> My homegirl do everything, dog. Don't be, <laughs> don't be mad at shit, dog. <laughs> For real, Hell like yeah. don't, don't do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, um, you ever watched Making a Band? I Back have. In the day? Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna do your Making a Band. You and four other people that you, your dream team that you want to work with on the album. One album, you four other people. It could be rappers, singers, or producers. Who is gonna be? You and four people. Yeah, four people. Okay, yeah. so like it's this. This could be any like like. Big, yeah, big, local, okay, whatever. Um, let me see. Okay, for one, not gonna lie, like I, I fucks with Timberland. Mm -hmm. He, he, just a genius, just a genius. Oh, like yeah. I fucks with him. Okay, so you Timbo. Um, Kendrick. 
Okay. I don't know. Damn, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of you. <laughs> yeah, he's a I, real rapper. I love Kendrick. I love Eric, man. Album him, dropping pretty soon. Him and J. Cole, like, I, I do, like, I, I fuck with them so much. But yeah. Somebody down here don't really like them niggas. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> you know what we do. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang, man. Look, Come on, now. <laughs> so, you, Timberland, Kendrick. Um, two let me more. see. Two more. She, this is so crazy because I listen to music a lot. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, who else? I'm trying to think of a singer because I know it's yeah, a lot of dope singers out here right now, too. It is, it really is. Okay, so nah, fuck that shit. I am DDB. She is, she's an artist from the UK. Okay, her vibe, her music is everything is so swaggy, it's just so yeah. she, dope. She sing rap. She sing and rap. Uh, like what, what's her name? I am what? I am DDB. Oh, shit, I'm about to get hit. She she's such a, a a wavy type. Like I fuck with her music. Yeah, for sure. I, I fuck with her music. And I, I, like I would definitely work with her. Like I could see us really collaborating, yeah. making some shit for real for because sure. our style is similar. Like yeah, and yeah. It, it would make sense. Yeah. It really would make sense for sure. So I fuck with her. Um, and your last but not least. Last but not least. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we we gotta go with we the best. We gotta go with Khaled again, our <laughs> producer, because that man yeah. fired on. He, he be making hey, some shit. He gonna put everything together. Gonna he gonna put that motherfucker together yeah. for sure. That's your band. That's what's up. That's mm-hmm. what's up. Now, versus battle. I do this little segment at the end. I give you two things, two people, whatever. You tell me who will come out as the winner. Okay. All right. You know who? Uh, you know, IG comedians um from Detroit. I guess doing Jack Funny. Yeah, I All know right. him. Jack Funny or or versus Jack Pot. You know Jackpot, right? Yeah. Yeah. Who? Who? Jackpot. Okay. I'm sorry, but yeah. I, Jackpot. Like this nigga, he funny as yeah. hell to me. Like he fun, and then the skits be some shit that really yeah. be having it. Sure, like, bro, sure. what? But Jack funny, he's he's hilarious too. Yeah. But I just feel like when it comes down to like the content, how long he's been doing it, yeah, I feel yeah, like Jackpot short, yeah. got more yeah. like shit, like shit that you could pull back from 2013. Yeah, like sure, that shit yeah. was funny as hell, hell to this yeah. day. You know what I'm saying? Like, hell yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, Vezo versus Payroll. You do that. You know, oh, yes. Why the fuck <laughs> you do that to me? <laughs> <laughs> oh damn. Okay. Um. <laughs> Cause that's so hard. Yeah, they both, they both some, some, some they fucking both, OGs. So, they the both some OGs. They some legends at this point. Yeah, I, yeah. Can I plead the fifth on that one? I, I don't you, know. I like, I Cause I'm like, I really don't know. Like I don't know. Yeah, because they both dope. I picked for you. They payroll. both speak to different sides. Yeah, of, for sure. Hell like yeah. my personality. Like if I want to yeah. know some hood shit, I'm playing yeah. bands. You know what I'm saying? Like for if sure. I want to talk about some some bullshit or just get motivated, I'm playing. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Like playing. Uh, what's name? Like, but both of them gonna motivate you on some on different levels and shit. Like they both got boss shit in both of their music. Sure. You feel me? Yeah, but yeah. it's just like one is more edgier. Yeah. Not fuck with that edgy side. Yeah. The other one is a little more cleaner. But he got a little edge to him too. But yeah. it's just like. You know, Yo, it's yeah, more yeah. laid back. No, that's, that's, that's fast. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's fast. That's fast. That's fast. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. Tall versus short. Tall. Yeah, it's, it's hard. hard. It's hard for us tall dudes, <laughs> man. Tall out here and shit. You know what I'm saying? I, <laughs> I'm sorry. Man, I got to I gotta still feel small. I got to feel man, like the little yeah, yeah when man, I got my heels on. I'm, I was mad as hell yesterday. I was playing this little cherry game for autism awareness. And my wife was like, I never knew you was that damn short. Cause my, she five foot. I'm hoping when niggas is like... Six ten, six eight, <laughs> six six. I'm like, God damn, y'all niggas tall. <laughs> I'm still hoping, but I'm like, y'all niggas big as yeah. hell. Like, man, damn, I wish I was that tall. I'll be, be hey, y'all want to know me right now. I'll be in the league or something. <laughs> God damn. Sure. Nightlife or daylife? I mean, nightlife for me. Yeah, for sure. Because I mean, what I do, yeah, like yeah, yeah. you know, I host parties and shit too. So it's like, oh, yeah, for sure, know. for sure. Summertime gear or fall gear? <sighs> That's hard too. <laughs> Cause I, I fuss with the summertime though, like oh, yeah. in my birthday month. You know oh, yeah. what I'm saying? So I, I'm summer. Yeah, summer. Cake get the cake and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, home cooked meal or out to eat? Oh, I'm cooking. Home okay. cooked meal. Yeah, yeah. What's your what? Okay, you trying to you trying to impress Demario? What's your what's your go to what's your go to <laughs> what's your go to meal? My go to meal. Yeah. Listen, my go to meal is my Cajun, my chicken and shrimp Cajun stuffed pasta shells. Oh, so you can cook for real? Then. I can cook for real. I make the whole alfredo sauce from scratch. You feel me? I make. See? A, I'm dead ass serious. So my listen, friends know about it. When we do the cooking podcast, you want to come out and cook that. 
Hey, listen. We got our episode. Yeah. That's gonna be an episode. Hey, listen. We got, I got some good we recipes. Got a, uh, <laughs> we got a, uh, a chef that he do his show with, mm -hmm. and he can, you know, what I'm saying y'all bam get some cooking together <laughs> conversations. <laughs> See, bet right there. There we go. Look, bring right. me back. So bet they, they even made this perfect. Your mm -hmm. cooking versus your mama cooking. <laughs> <sighs> Damn, I listen. <laughs> she don't got no Instagram anyway. Mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! All right. I mean, I learned from her, but it's like yeah. you know, you I, I made. Level. I let, took it to another level. Yeah. Like she That's still be asking me about that recipe. Man, that cajun pasta sound good. I want some. That shit. Let me know. Shit. I, I buy a plate. <laughs> you can leave on the porch. <laughs> Like, this nigga creep. I'll leave it on porch. I'll pick that shit up. Mm -hmm. That shit's good. I love pasta. Mm -hmm. All right. Rapping versus acting. <laughs> yeah, that's a hard one. <laughs> <laughs> and then I do both. I was like, what the yep. fuck? I right now, they say, you got you got this this record deal. You can go here on this on this acting side and be full-time. Denzel Washington. With, you know what I'm saying? You with Kevin Hart. Tyler Perry and shit. Medea. Motherfucking Medea sitting on the couch and shit. <laughs> <laughs> All that. What, what you doing? Are you are you playing the fifth again? You on both? I'm both. Cause yeah. I mean, I don't put myself in just one box. For like, sure. I got it. I get it. Do I get it. it. You could do everything that you want to do. Hell yeah. Period. DM game versus in person game. In person. I'm not. I'm not opening no DM. You don't think you can find no love in a DM? I'm not. Cause <laughs> cause here's the thing. Like how you slid on me. I know yeah. your mo. Yeah, you been sliding. You been sliding. Yeah, yeah, you so wave, ain't no. And then if I see you liking bitches pictures that I know, I know for a fact yeah. how you did me. You gonna yeah. slide on them? Nah, yeah, fuck sure. that shit. In person, I gotta see how your game is in person. No, hell yeah. <laughs> hey, it's hard to get some in game person like. I salute this nigga. He got some good end game, boy. That boy be, he be rapping. Ba -ba -ba -ba. That nigga be rapping. I like, damn, that nigga rap. I be want to know what you say. I don't even know now, but back then I wanted to know. Oh, shit. Nah, right. like, <laughs> nah. Rapper to rapper. Like, really? <laughs> All right, hanging with family or hanging in the streets? Hanging with family. Okay, okay. Ain't shit in the streets? I got two more left. Usher versus Chris Brown. <laughs> Man, that's so hard. What's, what, what's your preference? What you what you jamming to? I mean, Chris is an undeniable artist, mm -hmm. talented beyond means. Like, is a goat, and that's Usher is too. Usher is talented beyond means. But what I will say is, it's something about Usher's music that really speaks to me. Like, you just you you just feel it. Like, you just like, bro. Like, sure. and then going through shit as an adult now, you yeah. like, nigga, I know what that Confessions yeah, yeah. album was no, about. Sure, like, yeah. I understand that Hell shit. Yeah. I fuck with Chris too. Yeah. I, I I don't know who to choose with yeah. that though. I don't because I fuck with both of them for yeah, real. For like, sure. if I had to pick, I, I like I I, I mess with both of them. But I, I had to go with Usher. I would I I would say yeah I would have to say Usher too. Right. Thanksgiving versus Christmas. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, hell yeah. What's your favorite Thanksgiving dish? <sighs> dressing and macaroni. Yeah. All right, uh, dressing with cranberry sauce or gravy? Cranberry. Oh, you, yeah, you, you, a real person right here. He's a real person right here. <laughs> <laughs> you like it's gravy? Right, it's, oh, right, it's, it's a real person right here. <laughs> real thing right here, man. All right, last one. You, you say you be hosting. Mm -hmm. Which, which one you like to see more from a nigga? A nigga who hit rolling or a nigga who jitting? Oh, I'm gonna see the footwork. So oh, yeah. if I see you fucking roll your hips, I would ask questions like, "Hold on, what the fuck going on?" My nigga Weez is a hip roller boy <laughs> and cry baby. I think we had this cry like, "Oh my god, stop crying, nigga!" Turn that cry baby off. I need to see that footwork, bro. I need to see no, that shit. For sure, for sure, for sure. <laughs> now I want to end the show off with, because I forgot to ask you this off camera if you had a story. But I end every show off with a drunk moment or a high moment. <laughs> One or the other. Oh, shit, if you was on both of them, you know what I'm saying? This is a funny story when you was on your ass. Oh, my God. Listen, drunk moment. And this is why I don't drink any fucking more. Man. Two drink maximum, <laughs> not minimum. It's a two drink maximum. Yeah. Okay, 23rd birthday. Nobody told me how hard liquor would hit you after having a child, okay? Oh, it was different? It was different. <laughs> Listen, though, like, you got to understand, before okay. I got pregnant, I was, I'm not an alcoholic, but For sure. I would drink. That was my preferred thing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I would drink, and I felt like, you know, Patron was shit. Like, I was yeah. drinking that shit straight as hell. Yeah. Like, nigga, I drink you out of the table. For like, sure. good pair, huh? okay, you go nine months cold turkey, and then <laughs> another five <laughs> yeah, breastfeed. You can't For drink. Sure. Can't get your baby drunk. Man, what the fuck? <laughs> Birthday dinner. I'm sitting there. I have one 
Patron margarita at my dinner. Yeah. Drunk that shit. We go to bar seven. I have some more. Niggas come in. It's your birthday. Damn, they brought a yeah. whole round. I'm like, all right, cool. <laughs> By this time, I'm three margaritas in. Oh, That's shit. including the first one. So yeah. I'm three margaritas in. I'm like, I got this shit. I'm straight. Damn. Shots. I'm like, oh, shit. They got shots. Okay, fuck it. All right. Yeah, I'm taking them bitches back. I got three shots in me. So now I got a total of like six different things yeah, going yeah, on. So. so I'm like, hold on. Like, this shit hitting look different right now. Man. I gave my keys to my best friend. Yeah. We get in the car and we about to drive. I don't remember shit, but seeing on the radio of my car, it said 107 a.m. Yeah. And I'm like, all right, we about to go down the street to the hookah bar. I'm like, okay, yeah. cool. I don't remember oh, shit. shit. Man. I don't remember nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Is it, did y'all make it to the hookah bar? We made it to the hookah bar. Yeah. But here's the problem. I don't remember shit from 107 to 7 in the morning. Yeah. Now, here's the story. <laughs> you know at 107. Get, <laughs> listen, I'm sitting there, and I am i don't know what's going on because I blacked out. My yeah. friends telling me you was throwing up, and you was trying to clean yourself off. And oh, you, They was like, you was a happy drunk, though. He was like, oh, my God. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm like, what? <laughs> like, it was some crazy shit no. going on. I'm like, hold on. Like, what are you talking about? Like, really? It was like, bro, you just, like, it was, because I had on the dress, so, like, the shit just, I couldn't hold it in. It was just, I'm like, oh, my God, it's crazy. I didn't know none of this was going on. Yeah. None of it, okay? Here's the fucked up part. From 107 to my remembrance, (laughs) that's all, that's the last thing I seen. (laughs) I don't remember. I don't know what the fuck happened in six hour time span. That's yeah, the bad part. For sure. I'm in Sinai Grace. Duh. I woke up. <laughs> that's right. I woke up in Sinai Grace. I cannot make this shit up. Duh. I'm, I'm laying there. I'm asleep. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I got a hospital down. Where the fuck my clothes at? I'm like, oh my god. Next thing I think, I'm like, I got in a car accident. Like, what the yeah. fuck? Then I'm like, wait, no, I gave my keys to my best friend. Yeah. All the time I'm contemplating and I'm thinking, I look up, I see the lights, I look for it, and I'm like, I'm at the hospital. I'm like, sign our grace. What the fuck? Duh. Here's the bad part. This is where the story gets even funnier. God damn. I feel a set of eyes just burning the fucking side of my face. I look over. It's my daddy. You all right? I'm like. Oh, shit, yeah. He mad as hell. He mad. <laughs> Yeah, I'm okay. What happened? Uh, yeah, your friend said you got drunk and shit. And like, what the fuck? Uh, you know, you couldn't. We couldn't wake you up. So your mama was panicking. So Damn. We, I'm like, so what? So you at home, pastor? Or so the in between time when I got the phone calls the next day to tell me what happened because yeah. I don't remember shit. Duh. Yes, I was throwing up, and they they ended up driving me home, but I blacked out, so I was asleep. Yeah. I was just so drunk, like I was just asleep. Yeah. I didn't know what was going on. In the car. So, in the car. Okay. So they had to kick me out the car. They had to carry me in the house i didn't feel none of this <laughs> i was a dead body like i didn't know what the fuck was going God on damn. i didn't know what was going on i had no clue had no clue at all they was like yeah like you was fucked up you drunk too much so you wouldn't wake up your mama got scared yeah. i kept telling her to throw some water on your face they didn't want to do that so we had to take you to the hospital i'm like but out of all hospitals y'all yeah. sent me to sinai damn, why I, the fuck I, y'all sent me to- i was about to die in that yeah. bitch yeah. <laughs> I, I worked there too <laughs> <laughs> That shit made me mad. No, 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 no. That shit is crazy. <laughs> Damn, you waking up in the hospital like, what the fuck? Yes. It was my birthday. It was yes. 107. I, that's what the, I remember. It was damn, my birthday. But here's what hell. fucked me up even more. We stayed on Joy Road in fucking liver noise. I didn't yeah. understand why the fuck I went to sign yeah, up. Take yeah. me to Henry Ford. Yeah, nigga, you what is we doing? <laughs> Damn, that. That's like my homeboy Reggie got knocked out. I passed every hospital just to take that nigga to uh fucking uh St. John. Like, we ain't passed everything, nigga. We all we downtown. Yeah, what the fuck? That nigga got his ass knocked out. Oh shit. <laughs> nigga, that nigga was at brass knuckles with that nigga. Oh yeah, damn. <laughs> that nigga, I'm not even knowing it's my nigga. We a we a mile of, we like blocks away. I'm like, damn that nigga got knocked out. We get there like damn it's Reggie. <laughs> We threw that nigga in the car. That's terrible. We threw that nigga in the car, man. Pa- we were so drunk. I didn't pass every hospital downtown. Just take this nigga to St. John. Next day, he like, nigga, why you take me to St. John? I'm like, nigga, I was drunk. Nigga, that's the only hospital I know about, nigga. <laughs> that nigga, I said, slump. Nigga, shout out to that nigga who slumped you. Man. Hey, Reds, nigga. That nigga, that nigga was like a dead body. Like, ugh. <laughs> right. Damn. Like, man, yeah, that's, like, that's crazy, though. I wasn't... Expected you to say you was in the hospital and shit, though. Yes. Dad, mad as hell. Look at my drunk ass daughter. Like, my dad was mad as fuck. He was staring at me so hard. I'm like, man. Man. Just, how, long, how, how long was it you was in the hospital? A couple hours? Yeah, it was a couple yeah. hours. They, I forgot what they said my, my blood alcohol oh, was level high. was. was but they definitely said it was three times the legal limit. Yeah. But I don't remember the numbers. Because those that margaritas shit. hit. 
Like they hit you had three and shots. Oh, you was yeah. I was done. But my daddy was like, I'm glad you gave your keys to your best friend. No, that was smart thinking. That yes, was smart thinking. For sure. Yeah, but, you, uh, there ain't no telling, man. Okay. <laughs> I, I would have been in the hospital for the wrong reasons. Man, like for real. For sure. Or in jail. For my, yeah, for sure. <laughs> <What? laughs> for sure. We would be rapping sure. in jail. Like. <laughs> Damn. But my pole car needed detailing though. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm glad that you that, that you told a good story because people have told that story about yeah I didn't remember nothing that was it. But you had details. Oh yeah, that was a good story. Hey y'all, y'all could learn from this story. I had to learn. I had to know what happened though. Yeah. I didn't know what happened for six hours. That's for scary. Sure. That's why I don't drink now. Like no. I need to be aware. I Get smoke now. I don't. Yeah, for sure. I need for to sure. be aware. Yeah, smoking had me going crazy. So I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be thinking about what, what my wife could have been saying to a nigga. Like, damn, what'd she say to that nigga? She didn't say nothing. I'm just thinking about dumbass stories. So. I don't know what type of weed Joe is. <laughs> I can't do that. I'm thinking for niggas. Like, damn, I'm thinking, thinking I'm hot. Like, I'm going to be fucked up. But no, I appreciate you coming on the show. Thank you for having appreciate me. Appreciate you coming through. And John, uh, what can I find you on social media so you can, you know what I'm saying, yeah. see everything you got going on, all that good stuff? Yeah, uh, my Instagram is I am Leah Envy underscore I A M L E A H E N V Y underscore. For sure. For sure. Mm -hmm. And um, so you got some motivational words, motivational words, lead people. Don't, of course, don't drink and drive. You yeah, do not drink and drive, <laughs> y'all. Listen, yeah, like sure. if you are not aware of your limit, just yeah. have one drink and for just sure. pace the rest. If yeah. you're not sure, cause listen, don't be me. Don't do yeah. that. But for real, like anybody who is trying to pursue anything, it don't matter what your dream is. It don't matter if your dream is being a doctor, lawyer. A, a philanthropist it does not matter yeah. keep going for sure go hard with it don't quit it's gonna be times where you're gonna feel like you like your back is against the wall but that's when you know it's purposeful yeah, for like sure. when oh, your yeah. road to get there is like giving you different fucking adversities mm -hmm. roll with that shit because yeah, yeah. it makes you that person sure. it makes you that it makes you that character yeah. you know what i'm saying like oh, yeah. it really helps yeah, so yeah, yeah. Damn, I didn't even know we went this long. Like we had good conversations. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I appreciate that. But no, I appreciate you coming home. Uh, shout out to your manager and John for mm -hmm. reaching out and shit. Mm -hmm. Dope interview. Usually, I always turn down niggas who like managers who be trying to reach out. I always turn down people like, man, I'm good, bro. <laughs> but, I'm glad I did this shit. Like I said, mm -hmm. I've been trying to reach out back in August, but you was turning up. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, appreciate you coming through. Shout out to everybody. Episode one eighteen. Voice of Detroit. Podcast MVP. We MVP. We out. We out.